And we're live. I always feel like Martin Tyler. A bit of Premier League sports. And we're live. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Pat. Cup below me is Colm. He's just uh, checking a few questions. Uh, we one person watching. Two. The numbers will shall shoot up. Shall shoot up from this Seven. point. Ten. Shop. The shop is open. Shop is well done. First time, every time. All right, lads. I, I was going to suggest tonight. So if you, um, you know, Shane is part of a band. If, if I don't know if anyone maybe from outside of Cork or in the Munster area, they do play all over Ireland. I know they do that. Uh, Shane is the bass player. And I think he sings a few uh, things as well with J90. And um, they're a very popular touring band around Ireland. They do all the big pubs and clubs and uh, in between and weddings all over the country. They released a single yesterday, Vanilla. So I asked them, because they own the copyright to it, can we play it later on? And they said yes. So maybe we might download it and show off the video and give them a bit of a plug, because Shane is always very good. He does every quiz, to be fair. Um, so would you be able to download it, Pat, do you think? <sighs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really rich. I didn't want to buy it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm only mad. Well, for the purposes of tonight, I'm assuming you can download the music video itself. It's got a very Coldplay sound to it, doesn't it? It does. It does, and there's nothing wrong with that. Coldplay, are very, uh, very, um, the Irish Coldplay. We're just going to call him the Irish Coldplay J90. So well done, uh, Shane. Uh, I didn't listen to it there as well, and I, I gave it a share. It, it, uh, <clears throat> Like before, like like a, few, a lot of people have been saying about Irish businesses and stuff like that, um, about there's a lot of stuff you can do for them right now and it, stuff that you can do for free. One of the things is like sharing out a post, liking a post, liking them on Facebook, uh, interacting with their posts and just letting other people know, writing a decent review. The same kind of goes as well for Irish musicians and artists and stuff like that. I know sometimes people can't afford to buy these things or don't buy singles anymore because it isn't uh, Spotify and such and such. But there are free things you can do for even bands and musicians and stuff like that, like liking Subscribe. their page, subscribing YouTube. to their... Yeah, yeah. Look, liking them on YouTube, get, get their numbers up. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. And you know what? You could turn off the notifications and still... Be uh, you know still like still like the band and still be helping them a lending hand. Even writing a decent review for a place that you haven't been to in a while, it keeps their Google ratings up. Uh, so like Barcadia, the Mardyk, <laughs> any of those places, Dwyer's, uh, places that you've been to before, O'Sullivan's and Douglas, any of those places that we work with, Pat, on Brogue, yes. um, Soberlane, any of those it's places. So, uh, yeah, give them give them. I, I believe not. Barcadia is still receiving reviews. I'm assuming it's just people bored at home sitting there going through their pre. Where was I back in January, looking at their Google Play history? Um, Google reminds you. I'm not joking. Yeah, it comes back. You were here six Go months ago. You remember? Do you remember six months ago when you were there? She's very bright. Oh, yeah. I just noticed it there. I'm nearly flushed out. You are very washed out. Very yellowy. I felt it was time to give you five stars. I think it is. There we go. That's better, isn't it? It's on my Facebook page now. You can leave no review. Yeah, it's a free thing you can do, and it, 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 it'll it help them. And even if it is just to share out uh, the J90 song or to ask for it even on the radio, it's something that helps them locally and helps them gain a little bit more traction because they are sitting at home doing nothing. They're the, uh, the same as the bars. It'll probably even be longer for musicians and DJs and even for us like when it comes to doing quizzes and stuff. Even when the pubs reopen, uh, they won't be having any entertainment and stuff inside there. They'll be shite crack, but they'll nonetheless be open without us. So they'll Emily, be sitting there a lot longer. Emily Cashel, what time does the quiz start? We say the quiz starts at nine o'clock. First question kind of arrives at five past nine on your device. <laughs> Robert O'Mara is giving Barcadia a review there. In the in the in, he's saying Barcadia pizzas is good, but the managers are strange. Hi lads, are you talking about us? Are you talking about us? Are you talking about me? You're strange. <laughs> Flip between tabs. Flip away. Flippity flip. Me old college band. Go on, J90. Why? Why can't they run quiz nights with people social distance playing their own phones? 
It's just at the moment, they don't want to be able to get stuff that packs things in. Also, if they do have to socially distance inside there, it reduces the number of people that can go in there and it reduces the amount of money that's available to pay for people to run events inside there. It'll be a slow process. I mean, it's. It, it, I know it sounds uh, strange, but and even when it comes to dancing and stuff, they'll know that when people um, get a few drinks into them and all of a sudden the music comes on, you know... It, Especially, who who asked that question? About what? <laughs> About why, why the social distancing? Ashling Desmond, was it? Ashling, yeah. Because they know that even you will be high-fiving everyone after you win the quiz, going around rubbing it in their faces, literally. Um, so they, they, that's what they'll have to hold on. Now, probably things like pub quizzes and, uh, what you call it? Bingo will probably be back, all right? I think they'll be the earliest stuff. One man and two-piece bands probably will make a little comeback. I well. think they want to... Stop the dancing, basically. It's like Footloose all over again. They won't stop me dancing. <laughs> Leave space for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Who said that, Robert O'Mara? <laughs> you were on farm tonight. You were on farm tonight. That was in a movie or a TV show. It's an Irish phrase. That's an Irish phrase. That's, that's what every yeah. man used to say before. For some reason, I thought Back to the Future. Don't know why. No, I have to... Rob, let me know what it is. I just think it's a phrase that mothers say to anyone that was going to a, t a, t a disco. Are you going to the disco? Well, leave space for the Holy Ghost when you're dancing. Uh, just a reminder, uh, the shop is open. If you haven't got a ticket already... Um, what are you doing? Let's go to the description. The underneath the video, we a link. No, we will be starting at five past nine tonight. Ish. We know the quiz says it starts at nine, but that means that the quiz gets underway, as in the show, the pageantry that this is all of, of us just sitting in here. In front. It's mainly just to make sure that people know to get here. We, we start, we come on earlier around now just to have a bit of giggles and stuff with you and have some fun. Um, but really, in reality, the, the, the whole quiz doesn't start until nine. This this section here is us saying hello, having a chat with you. And, uh, and helping people selling check some more, checking checking everything works fine. Can and we also, hear the? We can, we can, and also to make sure that anyone who's having any issues, it gets helped out and sorted, and that they can get into the quiz. Tickets are on sale until nine o'clock. We do our best to try and sell as many tickets as well beforehand, but people are quite slow sometimes to buy tickets. And at one minute past nine, there's always someone still trying to buy a ticket or coming on going, "Is it too late?" Is it too late? And we want to, you know, we, we like money as, as much as we can. Call them. We're like, it's too late. <laughs> Careful. With, 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 that, that is way too close. They will, the, 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 Facebook and YouTube will shut us down. Uh, all right. I'm just uploading the quiz. I hope all the questions are right. I think they're right. They better be. Eh, if they are, they are. That's no, there. That reminds me. Um, space. What's that? What was that? Bluey, bluey. What was that? Bluey, bluey thing. Don't actually know. I think I turned off my mic. Space for the Holy Ghost. I see that. Are Holy you? Spirit. Are you still googling that? Yeah. It's just an Irish man phrase. I'll give you the Holy Ghost. Sounds like a walkie-talkie. Come in, car six. I can actually do all that now. I sorted it because I got rid of my old mixer. <laughs> did you just say no did you echo? Did you add another ED to the end of shorted it? Shorted it? You said I sorted it. I sorted it. Yeah. I sorted it. I sorted it. I sorted it. I sorted it. It sounded like you said sorted it. 100. See, it's not Did working. It. 100. Not, not. You thought you had it worked out. Uh, not going well for you. 100. There you go. Uh, you, you, you actually felt naked without a, a, an echo, didn't you? Uh, an echo. I had to. You need your echo. 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 
I stopped wearing the baseball hat. I don't know if anyone's noticed that. No one has pointed out Colin Murray baseball hat. You know, that hat that I bought for like four euros on, on Amazon. Oh <laughs> Best purchase you ever made. Yeah, I, 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 it's not that I can't find it. I just, I don't need it anymore. I was wearing it because my head was going to get burnt <laughs> and cold. Or... Who knows? Things, things, things keep changing, man. One thing you're like going, oh my God, my head's going to get frozen. And then two seconds later, you're like, oh my God, my head's going to get burnt. I've also been able to change my voice to sound like Thanos. It just sounds like you're making a threatening phone call or, 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 or demanding money for someone's child that you took. Buy a ticket right now. Sorry. What, what was the name of that film again? The, the, the Mel Gibson? Give me Ransom. 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 Oh, Ransom. That's it. That's, that's <laughs> who you were. Oh, where the guy kidnaps him and they're looking for a ransom and he refuses to pay the ransom and then he takes back think, the ransom. I was so thinking, the, I think it was the boy ransom. that wasn't given back. <laughs> I think it was called the boy that wasn't given back. I can all, I, so we have a, uh, I can also sound like a lady. Um, you no, you don't. You don't sound anything like a lady. What if I sound like this? No, I it's don't still. You. It's, it just sounds like a, a kind of a, a lady now making a threat oh about having someone else's child. Is that trying to rob us? See? I work with me, Tor, and Google. So Robert Amar is coming out there and he says, I'm being told that it was in a movie called School Ties, but I remember my old religion teacher telling me, my and my granny telling me it. So there you go. It's an old lady phrase. I thought, Rob, you were going to say, the priest taught you and your granny to keep the spirit <laughs> I, I, I do believe that leave room for the Holy Ghost is going to make the t-shirt you already sound like a lady right that's me upping the base parents ever tell them that they, they weren't worried about you being kidnapped because they'd give you back in an hour yeah that's, that's that was a standard enough phrase two one anyone else's parents ever tell them that they weren't a Worried about you being kidnapped. Oh, yeah, I've well, seen that. At least, seen you that. know, yeah. evidently you got the echo back twice. So I just said it like two seconds before you did. Did you not hear me at all? Do you realize you do this on a weekly basis? Do you, you realize like, you do this comments. on a weekly basis? Uh, 20 comments. Any update know. on the t shirt? Not at the moment. Um, we will, we will, we will, we will. I, I, I think I might have a bit of time. I think we're going to take a week off. I think my seven pat are going to take a week. Um, where we don't take any quizzes at all, and then I think we'll have a bit of time to kind of I'm do told the column that we're going to take a week off. I'm just going to do quizzes by myself. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! We, I think right. did we not have a chat about this last night where it turned out you were being really mean? Yeah, fight, fight, fight! People come here to watch us fight, Colin. Like they don't. They don't come to watch us fight. They come to watch us mess up. There's a difference. And it happens a lot. I know. But see, I mess up less when I'm fighting with you. That's no excuse. You're just mean. Somebody sent a WhatsApp. I know. I got it. <laughs> also, um, uh, congrats. I don't know if... if, if uh, what's, your, what's his name? I don't know if... D Darren. Did we, did oh, yeah. we, that was last Sunday. But Darren got engaged, didn't it? So you congratulations, did, and on Tuesday, Darren Johnson, well done. You two are like some old married couple. Yep. Uh, Asher, come here to see it all. A holiday, fancy. He does have a lad. Well, I sh we should have been in my holidays there about a two weeks ago. Yeah, I felt bad for you there. Did you ever get the money back? Did they ever ring you and let you know what was going on? Money back. I rang them and they, uh, you just get a message saying, we will contact you through email and we will sort out your money. Which they don't. Oh, they better. Which they don't. They haven't. Right. Things are again, they're slow again this week. And I can, again, I understand. Though I know the weather is after change. Oh, see, Colm, Robert O'Mara has got my back. Every week, Pat reads out a comment. Half an hour later, Colm reads out exactly what Pat said. I know, yeah, but that's half an hour later. Not two seconds right after I said it, like. Also, no. Get out of us. Get out of us. Kick his ass, bass. Like John O'Manny and myself back in the day. There we go. I don't even know if John O'Manny's in. 
We've got some... Ooh. Amy McMahon is letting us know that she should have been flying out to Roy Tenerife on Monday. Saying, Hi, lads. I got my order confirmation, but no link yet. Hmm. Roy, if you don't get anything in the next... You should have gotten two emails. What you do is check your spam and also search for send owl s e n d o w l that's Two words uh, one word link for us so search for that and if you don't find it drop me a uh, message i have my messenger open here it's send out one or two words it's one word the one the one thing now you are, we're going to see i think we're hearing all of your message tones as well coming through i'm just gonna that's whatsapp i'm gonna have to I think you can mute notifications on it. Yes, mute notifications. There you go. For eight hours. <laughs> Forever. I want to talk to none of you. None of you. Many, many, none of oh, you. Amy McMahon sending me a photograph of uh, leaving room for a Holy Spirit. And Moira Riley just left a recommendation for Patrick Hearn Entertainment. I get nothing. So I think we're, we're like we we're, we're about fifty people short to vote last week. So keep buying tickets, lads. Did oh, I mention that the store is still open? I so the, and also the, the quiz on Sunday. Uh, have we, we have to remind people about the quiz on Sunday as well. Uh, yes. is, is the uh, office quiz the U.S. office quiz? So I've been, I've been doing the question. I've been checking the question. I've been checking the questions on it. I have them here on my desktop. Yes. I've written about forty of them so far. Out of it's either going to be sixty or seventy. Um, I'll do my best to write as many questions as I possibly can. Um, but I was thinking about adding in, and I know that it happened in the Simpsons. There was a couple of snaky questions in there. Do you remember those Pat? The kind of snaky uh, Simpsons questions where yes. I was thinking about adding one or two of those in as well. But Add in could. sneaky ones. I like the sneaky ones separate the people who really know their stuff. And but it's it's a lot of people would have jumped to the like there was a great one in the Simpsons one about people not remembering the Aerosmith were the band that played uh, Flaming Moles. Yeah, they thought it was, bring out Jelly Willy. They thought it was right. Jelly Willy, Joey Jojo. Um. So, but I have I have a great one, and I don't know if it's either mean. Or mean spirited, you know, mean spirited, as in you could get away with it, or just downright mean. Be mean. You think so? Like extra virgin pack questions. <laughs> That's mean. That that was mean. And then columns. You're always picking on me. But to be fair, you were picking on me beforehand, and that's why I put it in there. So I was I was getting back at you publicly. Oh yeah, that's the place to do it, isn't it? Yeah, it was. Because you do it publicly. Oh, and I want to burn your car. Sorry, what? that escalated a little bit there. Sorry. <laughs> check Messenger Pass. Sent you there, Denson Ghost. Like extra version pack question. Exactly. Yeah. Sorry, lads. I checked right. send all just last week's Let quiz me. ticket. Not this week's one. So, Roy, you need to just send, get onto Pat there on Facebook and he'll send you the link. Send me a message there, Roy, on Facebook. I, we see you there. I wonder, is, is, is the, yeah, the, the link should be active. There's 26 players already in. So, oh, 27. So the link is active. It, it went active about five minutes ago. I forgot to let you know that you can join. If you're sitting at home wondering, should I play? Yes, you should. Yes, yes you should. It's going to be a bit of fun. I promise you, Pat won't be mean to me all night. It'll just be at the start here. We'll have a bit of fun. Uh, we'll have a bit of fun at your expense. Uh, we also have a I want to win section. It's We're going to shorten it this week. We're only going to do two rounds. It's there to try and give people a break, mainly down to the fact that 70 questions is a lot to get done in a very short amount of time. And we don't we want to give you a bit of uh, a bit of everything. And a lot of people think they like it. Just to relax. Between. So there'll be like 20 questions, 20 questions, then the break, 20 questions, and then 10 questions. So in the, the larger break, it will be about 10 minutes, not 15 as it was last week. And we're going to try and, and, and do it as fast as can. And if it doesn't work, we'll just move on. It's a bit of fun. So hi, Martina. When Martina was with us during the week as well. Hello. Yes, last night. Last night. Hello. Good evening, lads. Enjoyed last night's quiz so much that I'm back again. Well, hello Welcome to you. Martina. People are like, the quiz last night, what? Private quiz. <laughs> And if you saw the prizes there, hmm. that got Pat. 
Non disclosure for me, baby. Non disclosure. Oh, yeah. NDA. If you want to have us for a private quiz for any or, or would and like well to recommend done. us. And well done to Martina Walsh and winning the quiz last night. She won to watch for. If you if you know anyone or any company that would like to get a quiz going for or even other kind of events and stuff like that, we do game show style stuff and music bingo too. Pat's been working on that the last week. Um, if you know someone that would like our company or your own company or someone that you work for uh, would like that to do something like this uh, to build morale or to try and keep their um, their troops if you entertained, want us to abuse the people that work for the company, we're happy enough to do that as well. I paid six euros to watch uh, two men, grown men bicker, Robert O'Mara. That's Roy, we can pay that every week. Roy, check your uh, Facebook. Keith McCarthy says, "Come on, lads, the UK office is far better." It, the, I, I think it's. I think people one can like both. One can like one, and one can like the other. The reason why we're choosing the US office is because a lot of people have asked us for that one instead of the UK office. And there's more series, more questions, yeah. more questions. It's easier to write. I'll tell you what, I have written, and if you want. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll go through 10 questions after the quiz for a bit of fun. I'll just ask them at the screen. I have written about 10 or 20 questions for the UK office. So if you want to do it on Sunday and you don't have to pay in at the end of the US or the UK or the US office, I'll just ask 10 quick questions for you to see if you can test your own knowledge for the questions. They were tough. So you'll write them down and you can you can test yourself after I give the answers then. So I'll, 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 I'll cater for you, Keith. Bingo, pushing in another company's territory, no? That's local. Yeah. Loco. So where in Cork are we all going on Monday? Actually, I saw a great tweet. Yeah, it, it, I've got a friend who's living in, a, 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 what is it called, Kana. And he goes to me, great, I can drive all the way to Bantry, but I can't go to Tallow. So he can drive He can drive more or less 200 kilometers from one side of Cork to the other, but he can't go five kilometers over the border into Waterford. Uh, what we should do, Pat, when, there, when when we can do a crowd, we should just do a big, huge quiz at the beach with the headphones. Yeah, that would be awesome. A, a beach party quiz. <laughs> Everyone just goes to the beach, puts on a set of headphones, does the quiz, and that's it. Why would you want to leave Cork, Robert Amara? There's a lot more people now outside of Cork here now. Who wants to go to Tallow? Put them on the map. Tallow. We, I think you and me played in Tallow, did we? Did you and me play in the back of a truck inside the no, pub? Don't Tallow. Tallow. Who Tallow was it? Can't decide if it's Cork or Waterford. It was you and Pat Cork. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pat, I mean, it was me. Pat, Pat um, always tells me that his knees don't work. Guy tweeted, I bet all you fancy counties wish you'd built a crisp-related theme park now. Enjoy your butter museum, Cork. <laughs> We got perks, okay. man. We got perks. What? We got perks. Yeah. But uh, again, uh, like, Tato Park is still closed. And isn't Tato Park in a landlocked co county? So that means they can't go to the beach, but yet we've got, hmm, 7 billion thousand kilometers of coastline. Yeah, it's 20 kilometers from your house uh, or within your county to allow for those living on the border. Yeah, well, well sure you can drive from Cork to Dublin, be halfway and still be in Cork. We have photo. And that, that's, that was open since last week. So, yeah. We need a beach with 5G, though. Uh, I know that the whole thing is lifted i'm assuming Gemma doherty is going to more or less go from beach to beach in cork looking to burn whatever 5g mass she can find rachel dowell says boom well said colin what did i say uh, what did i say what did i cause sorry oh, I heard a few bits in the background did i mention that the store is still open for another 20 minutes it will close at nine o'clock we're not going to do that thing tonight where we wait for someone to check out we're just going to close the store. I see there is only five people in it, so it is probably slowing down. It is going to be a quiet enough night. Not a people on the uh, East Coast from uh, Dundalk all the way down to Wexford. I can see there's four or five people on that side of the coast looking at tickets. And there's someone either in Kerry or uh, kind of out on the old fingers, the fingers, the toes of Ireland 
on the old peninsula is looking at a ticket as well. So if that's you, buy your ticket now. Oh, we have another six persons after joining in. Here we go. Just so, to let yeah. people and uh, somebody just messaged me saying they were getting a black screen when they were uh, trying to open on their laptop. Internet Explorer, for some reason, will not open up these links. Um, also, stop using Internet Explorer. Try using Chrome or Firefox or a potato. <laughs> they will all work. Explorer won't. I know that sounds kind of mean and you might be used to it and you're like, I can only use and the only thing I've got installed is this. Oh my God, I'm just thinking about Robert O'Mara. What's it say? Uh, the year conservation pass for photo. Bought a year conservation photo for photo. A week I, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming photo will extend that. Surely they'll extend that. They've been they closed. And he's pfting. I went very yellow again there now. Why, why am I going so yellow? Beds. I installed Zoom and it changed my camera. <laughs> the woman who was using Explorer was like, oh, it was the work computer. Completely forgot. <laughs> and then said, mortified. Mortal. But you want to have a, you want to have a word with work about using Internet Explorer. They give us an extra eight weeks. Yeah, that's fair. An extra eight weeks. That's a bit. Right, you got about seventeen more minutes to buy a ticket. And Emma Hennessy now is also asking the question: Who still uses Internet Explorer? I'll tell you what, mm -hmm. I doubt even people in Microsoft use Internet Explorer. I'd say what happens is that like Bill Gates is walking into the office and everyone's like scrambling to, as if like they were trying to shut down a window, Chrome bar clo closing everywhere and Windows Explorer opening up. Never leave Cork for Dublin. Never, it's not cool. I'll never forget. Do you remember Logitech Siemens? Siemens and Logitech were, Logitech boss Siemens, you know, but they had laptops. I was wiring their business and they had a room full of laptops that they didn't use. <laughs> they went, we don't use them. They're crap. Do you want to take a few laptops? Ashley <laughs> Desmond said, oh, don't this photo. Ours expired on April 2020. I rang them today. They were lovely and extended it until July 2021. So Robert O'Mara, <laughs> you were shafted. We'll give you eight weeks, but Ashling got a whole year and two months. <laughs> you got shot it, my son. PJ Ahern, do we uh, do we have to supply our own biscuits uh, for the tea? You do, PJ. Unfortunately, you do. Uh, by the way, I didn't say never leave Cork for Dublin. It's not cooler. Hit Bart Simpson did. He's the one who said that. Just in case, I, I never got to finish off that. I, it wasn't me who said that. Shop is still open. There's 10 visitors in there at the moment. I know it's after jumping up. Don't leave this moment pass you by. You could be our winner tonight. Roland Smith. The winners oh. of uh, last Sunday's quiz. We gave them free entry. I'm going to try and resend that again. Also, uh, did, I think uh, there was a person out there who won a competition at the start of last month. And it's oh. still through my radar. Uh, I, I promise you, I will get that sorted tonight. I will not leave this room for. I, 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 I will not leave this room. I promise you to uh, until such time as I have it sorted. Patch snacks update. Is there a patch snacks update? There is a patch snacks. I um... Strangely enough, Pat, I bought a can of monster for the first time today. I bought the green one. It said, I think I think it said tropical or something like that. Ooh, what off. is it? What it's, a green, it's a green one. Yeah, it's nice. It's kind of appley. It's kind of appley, but it's disgusting. It's the whole can of green. Yeah, the whole can is green. That's it, the one I was... A, uh... Yeah, it is, it is awful stuff. It is awful. There's so much of it. You can't drink it all. And the animals need to eat too. Plus, it's like a 50 euro a trip for us to go four times. And you make... Your money back, and it works for Dublin Zoo, which you can attend after the 29th of June. Yeah, we know that. Are you working? It's Ashling Desmond there. Works for a photo, do you? 
<laughs> Robert O'Mara knows, Ashley, that's great. I was happy with eight weeks. It was eight <laughs> weeks they gave us two, but they were closed for two months. So four weeks free, really. Did you mean 2020 or 2021? July 2021? Because you wrote 2021. That look, That's like a year, Ashling. Anyways, it doesn't make a difference. I don't know why I'm worrying about that. 14 minutes. Well, just under 14. 13 minutes almost at this point. Still, the store is open. Uh, if you want to play our halftime game show, which will be shorter this week, uh, it is down the bottom. It's running across the bottom. You can message Pat on Instagram or Facebook and just say, I want to win. When you do so, you will have to use your phone or you'll have to use another phone or another device or something else or some you can still use the same phone but it's better if you use something else really uh, if you can turn your phone sideways or use your webcam on a laptop and um, because the sound can be fairly poor just make sure that you you know that you're you're somewhere you've got internet. Internet. yeah and not using internet explorer and when you yeah Um, boop, 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 boop. How many more minutes? 13 more minutes before we close that shop. Yep. So as I said, if you want to join, four random people will be picked from anyone who says, I want to win on Facebook, and you can uh, get yourself into our halftime game show. Uh, this week, it'll only be two rounds instead of three. We're going to try and do it as fast as we can. If uh, yeah. Last week, we had people who, who, who microphones didn't work. Just get in as quick as possible. Uh, make sure your microphone and your video is when you see it, you'll, you'll know. We'll see you backstage and we'll get you involved. Can we get John O'Manny on to name five things? It's always great crack. He can only name three, so uh, we should he just is take a three. rest. He is taking a rest. And also, do you want to read out as well? Yeah, I'll see uh, if I can find it there. Uh, we had a, a press release. <laughs> from this is this is good this is good to be fair let's see if i can find it here Might have been private you only chat. read it to me like about 10 minutes about, 10, about five minutes before we started but i don't know if it was in private chat there's a million messages here now in front of me i'll come back to it oh there it is uh, it's from hi sean the 10 year old here it's with great sadness that i must retire as the undisputed undefeated halftime game show champion my dad also said my head was getting too big with all my success best of luck to those doing the halftime show tonight all i say is one thing to the players please don't let john win hashtag sean abu so that came in uh, from Sean, the 10-year-old there, uh, who's retired at the healthy age of 10. Well done, Sean. It was great when it lasted. Anyone see Leo quoting Lord of the Rings earlier today? My God, no. <laughs> but please still let me know. Paul Cousins in. Say hello to me and Orla. Hello. Hello, Paul. Hello. Hello, Paul. Hello. 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 Um, right. Sure, all these messages are in. Did I mention, Pat, that the store is still open? And while you're there, you can always pick up your second ticket for Sunday as well, the US office quiz. It'll be a little bit quieter than I think than the other quizzes have gone or, or have been. Uh, I don't think it has the same pulling power as, say, the Simpsons, but evidently the Bond quiz is going to be the biggest seller of all. So, uh, <laughs> so they tell us. So they say. There's 10 people in the shop. Get out of that shop. Get out of that garden. There's two people in France looking at tickets. Two separate places in France? Yeah. <laughs> 37, 37 tickets short of what we did from last week. So 37 people out there who haven't bought a ticket yet. Come on. And unfortunately, we do the prizes on how many people come in so there might be a little bit less some people have just bought tickets well done two people in front in, in their own paris maybe Ooh. north paris hmm. very nice very nice for some actually more oh, i'm getting just messages um, chops chops is sending me a video here now in the background what's this well la dee da how's your french pat 
did one year of French. That was it. Hold on. Or, or did I do three years? I can't remember. Yeah, he's he's quoting Lord of the Rings. There we go. Not that I know because I've I've been unable to stay awake during any of them. <laughs> you fell asleep. Every one of them. Every, every including the hobbits. And, no, I only went to one. The first Hobbit film. I fell asleep during that as well. Someone in Paris just bought their ticket. And now two more people have popped up in Paris. What's going on there? It's like they're taking each other on in Paris. Okay. Unless they're buying tickets for the office quiz. I, I fell asleep during the battle sequence of one of them. Like I, We were in the fourth or fifth row and Pat Fitz was sitting on one side of me and Jim was sitting on the other. Actually, Jim hasn't done a quiz in a while. They must have got a bit bored. They won some money and then they psh, gone. Psh, they disappeared. Gone. Yeah. yeah, but they, they, they share every week nonetheless. They give us a share and Danielle does so too. Um, they, they probably just need a break. Just need a break. Quiz overload. Boom, 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 but boom, boom. They both stuck popcorn in my ears and that's why I woke up. Just for John is out there again. So when's this Marvel quiz happening? Andrew Naylor. Uh, well, actually, never. Um, you never know. We're, you know, we gotta do. We gotta. Uh, right, eight more minutes. How was your French pad? Yeah. What's this? An international quiz? Yeah, we've noticed as well. We've been doing internet. Well, we've been doing quizzes for multinational companies and. We've kind of forgotten that, like, they might have people playing in other countries like France and Germany and England and, and Warsaw and English, different places. Or whatever. First language either. Yeah. And like a lot of the questions might be even like, you know, and it was like an only fools and horses question. And we were like, you don't know who only fools and horses is? They're like, what is this? So, yeah. A Lord of the Rings quiz. Get out of it, Moira. Um, Pat would have to make it. I thought Pat would have to make a quiz at last. Still finishing off these bad boys. Might as well make ourselves start, start those yesterday, didn't you? Three days ago. What well, they're doing well if they're still there. Cranberry. Cranberry cookies. Nah, cranberry. That was a Christmas. And a brand new bag of dry roasted peanuts. I know you want them, Colin. I want those. I'll be honest with you. I want those so bad now. Hashtag Pat Max. Pat, I just noticed as well. Jess Benson. What happened to her? She's gone. Left you, Colin. Sick here. Does anyone know Jess Benson? And is she all right? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna Instagram her right now. Are you okay? <laughs> Where the hell have you been? Are you all right? Okay, to don't know about. New phone. Yes. Who did? Hold on now. Jess. Benson, there she is. Are you? The Ballon Colin Gooseberries are back. Patton Colin. So, what was the name of the? What was the name of the Eastview? Eastview is gone. Yeah, Eastview crew. Crew. I was only thinking about them the other day. And we lost the load. What do we do? Do we do something to offend them? They just got sick of us. Mark DeRosha came for one quiz and never came back. I wouldn't have either. He he left. He he left an impression right there. He remains right here. Well, right when you're there. that handsome. My God. My God. <laughs> I bet you he's got a gorgeous the young voice as well. I that's think that's the a thing that you know sings well too. The Young's dropping every once in a while. Yeah, the Young family, they disappeared for a while and then they popped up again. We were, I was worried about them for quite a while. So five more minutes. The, the shop is less than five minutes. You do have a, a, an opportunity now at this point to get involved. Please don't let it pass by. He did it to get into the credits, then left. Unlike the rest of us who stuck by you in your hours of need. Maybe they start their own quiz. Eastview crew actually do their own quiz every week on a Saturday. Uh, I think... Uh, oh, hold on. No, someone just tagged. I thought it was Jess Benson getting back to me. Oh. She's currently taking all the photographs of you she has in her bedroom. 
it's the ones that are taped into a wall that are cut in newspapers and stuff like that. Like, and it's when you open up the, the, the closet door, it's in behind on the wall with candles that are all burnt down. You know, like that there was hundreds of candles always stacked on top of each other. Just candle wax. I watch a lot of, I watch too much movies and TV shows. Right. A Marvel Cinematic Universe quiz would be awesome. It, you know what? I know a lot of people are asking that. And if we did it, I think it would actually be fairly popular and big. It broke our, like, it, we'd, we'd, make, we'd need two months off after it, I think. We could we and could I, do the thing where we just have a warning on the screen is like don't annoy Pat. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I do not um, as Thanos. Two uh, two two and a half minutes before the store closes, please. If you are intending to buy a ticket, buy it up now. Do the button. Pat. There are 19 people in the store at this very moment with three minutes yeah. left to go. Yeah. There, is, gonna get up? There's someone in Leeds or Newcastle. There's someone in Northern Ireland. There's oh. someone in Dundalk just bought a ticket right there. Uh, the entire hey, yeah. Ireland, Ireland is covered in people with 17 sitting there right now at this very moment buying tickets. You've only got yourself two, uh, just under, two, just over two minutes to buy the tickets, so get on with it. Pat, the uh, filter you're using there a second ago is, you just don't understand what you're saying at all, so it's horrible. You. Horrible. You're horrible. It so all true. makes sense now. That's from Myra. That's where the hat's gone. Yes, it is. Could you do a China impression with that voice? That's a vivid description of a stalker shrine column. It is. I've seen it just so many times. So look, I'm just going to type stalker shrine into. To be honest, there you go. I got, this thing, I got this thing to do echo, but it does everything. What if I talk like this? That's weird. And it's not bad, I mean, you know. It's not the worst. So yeah, if you do, do it that this talk, you get the idea of what I'm coming from here, like. Rock. Robot rock. Stop it. They're horrible. They're just... they're People are turning off now because of that. I'd have actually turned you off five minutes ago. I'd be like, you know what? If I'm gonna have to listen to this guy now, play with those things like. He... Unfortunately, we just lost column from the stream there again. I don't know what happened there. Oh, he came back in. If I wanted all that stuff, I'd listen to the Ray Foley in the morning. Get out of it. <laughs> Two minutes, one minute, and then we 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 have to we have to start. It's a description of the exact shrine I have in my bedroom, but it's for Doctor Leo. There you go. That's Robert Amara. Say roll out. Roll out. Don't need that. Evening. Bernadette Leiden in the house. We want another Brooklyn Nine-Nine quiz. I, I, I want to do another. I, I spent in the doctor's, in the in the surgery today, I, I was looking at an episode while I was waiting. Uh, sign the, uh, sing the, the Iceland, Iceland Eurovision song with the voice singing. I don't want to know. Right, 13 people in the store. You have one minute. Oh, Pat, just do the intro, okay. and what we'll do is do the intro, and we'll give people that, that time to get themselves checked out. But what if the intro doesn't work, Colm? It'll work. I trust it'll work. It hasn't worked in a week, but we're going to try it now tonight, and we're going to see if it works. Did you upload we'll the quiz, Colm? No, you have to put in the SHIT up me, so I better go check that. Yes, I did. Also, there's only 205 players in. We're short about 30 players, 30, 40 players. So please get involved if you're out there and you haven't already got involved. Join now because we are, will start without you and we will not be able to help you out if we start. Mm. Is there a sound column? There is. Do your intro. Live from my living room, it's the live quiz. Presented by Pat and Column. See, it worked. There you go. See, 
put a voice over there and it would have been way better. Uh, you it would have been. You, Ray, Pat says in the background, Ray Foley might be doing the quiz tonight. Uh, he might be. Hi, Ray. <laughs> no. What? I'm not friends with Ray Foley. He might, he's a nice fella and all that kind of jazz like, you know, but he loves his, he loves his uh, sound effects and pressing buttons like you do. Meow, 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 all that kind of stuff like. He's one of those... He's one of those kind of like DJs that loves those sound effects and and, and voice things and changing things. And... Says you, you love the Gareth O'Callaghan cap. No, no, I, it just reminds me of his days doing it. And my, when you broke my heart, I didn't. I thought he had a studio. Well, I thought he had like a small audience of people in the studio with him. You broke my heart the day I found out. Um, listen to that beautiful music. Leave Ray alone. Jeez, oh, everyone thinks I'm having to go at Ray Foley now. Leave That's Ray. It. We're having Ray Foley wars. That's it. He's coming at me now on Monday morning. I know it. Uh, actually, Tuesday morning because he's probably off for of the bank holiday. Is it a bank holiday? No, is this a bank? Last... Is it? It's last weekend. Today's the or Monday's the English bank holiday, isn't it? They do it the week after. Oh, no, they the month before. They the week before. No, their bank holiday is this Monday. Nope. It's the week before. Could call him Google away because he doesn't oh, believe yeah. me. Because he thinks I'm a goddamn liar. Right. Yeah, Monday, Monday May 25th. Uh, first question will be appearing at five past nine on your phones. Sorry to the seven people in there checking out. This will be made unavailable right now. Right, done. Tickets have stopped. And let's open up this. Get our questions ready. No. Everybody ready? Relaxed. So the questions will pop up in your forward. Like there's still a few people not have joined in yet. They still haven't joined in. There are six people still in the in 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 the uh, thing. And let me have a look and see how many store carts are there. There's six active carts, which means that there are six people currently just checking out. So. Well, did want to hurry up in two minutes. If they've got them in there, if they've got the ticket in I their stopped. cart, they yeah. should know, if it's in their cart, they should be able to check out. Right. At this point, Pat and myself are going to tell you how this all works. So, the first set of questions will pop up on your phone, and we're going to say now at... Seven minutes past, which is just under three minutes from this point, right? So seven minutes past, seven minutes past nine, when it's 9.07 on your phone or in your on your clock, it will be starting. The first question will pop up on your phone. If you're watching us on YouTube, that is the preferred way to watch us because the delay is shorter. It's only about eight to 10 seconds. If you're watching us on Facebook, the delay on Facebook is way longer. It can be up to 20 seconds. So we do recommend that you use YouTube. Most people would know this by now. If, if it's your first quiz, you know, that it's good knowledge to have. And it's also in the, uh, the instructions you would have got. You can cast us. You can have us on a second tab on your laptop, or you can use another device like a, a tablet or something like that. Uh, uh, the device that you're using to answer or on the tab that you're using to answer, as soon as the question pops up there, answer as fast as you can. Don't wait for us to ask on the stream because it will be delayed by about eight seconds. So answer it as soon as you pop it up on your phone, read it, answer the question, and the faster you answer, the more points you'll get. Because the answering the questions faster allows you to get points to the people who didn't Google it. If you try and Google the answers, you're just going to get nowhere. We do see people who might get 20 questions right, but they get no points because they had to wait for Alexa and Google Home or whatever it is to check in on it. Um, I was thinking that, Moira. What's this? Call him quick. Google. Yes, it is. But nonetheless, uh, answer as quick as you can. There will be breaks. Uh, after 20 questions, we will give you a break. They're normally short enough until the mid, the big break in the middle. Uh, you can join our halftime show if you want to. You can send I Wanna Win to Pat on Instagram or Facebook Messenger. And it will choose four people at random to join us in. And there's a voucher for up for grabs as well, a 25 euro one for all voucher. Um, we'll keep that down short. We're shortening it this week from three rounds to two rounds. So it should only last between 10 and 12 minutes. Uh, that's just to give people a chance to restock. 70 questions back to back is quite difficult to do and a lot for people to do. So, yeah, um, that's you getting the message, is it? Yeah, and I've muted it. God, hello. Guys. Yeah, that would have it. You didn't mute. You only muted one person. I'd say, did you? Probably. I don't know. Settings. 
notification. So yeah, um, you've got yourselves 30 seconds before the first set of questions pops up in your phone. Look at your phones, 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 look at your phones. At the end, first, second, and third, we're going to win themselves some prizes. We're going to show you the scoreboard after each round. There are four rounds, 20, 20, 20, and 10. There'll be a break in between each and a larger break between round two and three. So, yeah, look at your phones, look at your phones, look at your phones. You've got 15 seconds. The first question should arrive on your phone if you're watching because on YouTube now. And in 10 seconds, Pat's going to click that button, and we're going to be ready to go. Are you ready, Pat? Yeah. Also, if you want to, right above us, Patrick Hearn Entertainment and Cullum Lockheed are our handles on Instagram. You can tag us so that we know what you're up to. I'm watching on Bebo and using Internet Explorer. <laughs> on my personal PC. Ooh. Pat, hit that question. Nice. Twin sisters Adele and Kiwi Lynch topped the UK singles charts as members of which pop group? Pop group. Easy, pop. easy. Is it Sugar Babes, Bewitched, All Saints, or Spice Girls? Girly pop. <laughs> you could, every, every time, Pat, it's every time you've got to say it. Girly pop. Girly pop. Sugar babes, bewitched, all saints. Oh, look at that. We could have had ourselves 100%. Unfortunately, maybe our international compatriots didn't know uh, that bewitched Irish girls, Adele, Kiwi Lynch, they're Shane Lynch's sisters, aren't they, from Bison? Question number two, what was the name given to the popular genre of rock that arose in the Pacific Northwest, a.k.a. Seattle, in the early 1990s? Another easy one, I think. Is it grunge, swing revival, indie rock, or punk? Virgil Collins added four photographs. I don't know if that's, if he's tagging me or what. I'll be avoiding him. Sorry, didn't photograph. Seventy-seven percent went for grunge, of course. Nirvana, a very famous for for that for that grunge rock. Nirvana. Who are you listening to? Nirvana. Question three. Oh, Jesus! In two thousand and fourteen, which singer removed all part all of her music from Spotify, saying, "I'm not willing to contribute my life's work to an experiment that I don't feel fairly compensates the writers, producers, artists, and creators of the music." But put it back on in two thousand and seventeen, and was reported to have earned almost four hundred thousand dollars within two weeks. You really could have shortened that one there, I'd say, Colin. <laughs> I believe not. I actually think you wrote that question. Was it Taylor Swift, Sia, Lady Gaga, or Camilla Cabello? Yeah, I, stole I, that from... it. I didn't expect it to be on a screen. I didn't expect it to be on a screen. Screen. Look at your screens. Look at your phones. Look at your phones. Long question, James Cottom. Yes, indeed. 85% went for Taylor Swift. It is Tay Tay, indeed, is the right answer. Okay, We're getting a lot of babies. Know seconds to answer so we've incre we've sped it up question number four <laughs> Stephen Gigori is now Yusuf Islam what other name had he we give a clue and say uh he's a singer yeah well I think all the people I chose were singers. Elton John, Cat Stevens, Tom Jones, or George Michael. The YouTube lag is almost a minute, and that's coming from Fergal. Fergal, I'm going to teach you something there just to check about it. Or not, not teach you something, tell you something. Right at the bottom of your screen, make sure we're live. Sometimes what happens is that the YouTube can get delayed. If you click the button, that's if it's grey, click it, and it'll, it'll jump forward to when it's actually live. I'm in there now, watching. Yeah, um, it's only about eight seconds. Uh, question five. Cat Stevens was the right answer. Well done, everybody. We're getting, see this, 87% seems to be everyone. What comedian's production yeah. company is named Happy Madison, a play on titles of two is two film, two of two of his films. And refresh your feed, indeed. Uh, Rob Schneider, David Spade, Adam Sandler. Hi, Patrick O'Hearn. Will I see you in Killarney when the pubs reopen? There's no Michael McCarthy. Like clockwork. <laughs> There he is. No, Mick, you won't. Paul Cusson, what's this a book? Idea. The long question. What's this a book? Rob Schneider came to a question. You didn't go. Rab Schneider. Rab Schneider. Is this stapler? Oh. Oh. 2% oh, went for David Spade. But Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. 
is the correct answer. <laughs> Question six. Which country has more satellites in orbit? Russia, USA, or China? Pat? China. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't. China. <laughs> Robert Lamar has asked me, am I okay? What, what, what do you, why are you asking that? Question you six is answer. In the last question, you just had a stroke halfway through. We got worried. Oh, yeah. What was it? I Ryan Seacrested on screen. Uh, right. USA has way more than all the rest of them. 29%. The president is a duck. Uh, before falling out of the, to, uh, before falling out to make way for adult teeth, most children develop a full set of how many baby teeth? Maybe baby not teeth. first tooth about three weeks ago. It's great. It's becoming a man. 30, 9, 15, or 20. I like this 15 in seconds instead of 20. Really puts the rush on them. Puts the kibosh on them. Right. We'll be finished by 10. I just unsubscribed from uh, Pinterest anyway, so there we go. That's I just received, I just received an email again off him. Uh, Sixty-two percent knew it's twenty, and these people, you know, fifteen is a weird one to have. That would mean you'd have uneven teeth, as would be nine. So if you, if you chose that wonky old Tom Cruise teeth, question number eight: What is Chinese checkers played with? So if you were playing Chinese checkers, what would you be using to play with these Chin Chinese? You're going to do it again, aren't you? Checkers, maybe. Tiles, pegs, marbles. Was this the Prince Hour? Uh, ooh, 43%. Ooh, a lot of people went for tiles. That's dominoes. They play dominoes, Chinese dominoes with tiles. Pegs I just made up. But they play it with marbles. Chinese checkers is played with marbles. Well, know. actually, someone's going to come back to me. No, I, that, that was the answer that was given to me. Uh, question nine. The Good Fight is a spin-off TV series of which other show? Suits. Fairly legal. Billions are the good wife. Uh, have a Chinese checkers with pegs. Yeah, have a Chinese checkers with pegs. I don't know what you're going with there. Hands. Hands. Small hands. Eighty-three percent. The good that, wife. The that's good a good. Fight. That's a good. That's a good number. I, I thought we'd get more. The good fight. The good wife. I thought I would get. You know, people would just I go. Never heard of it. You could have guessed it though. You've heard of the good wife, haven't you? Heard of this. Heard of it. I've never even seen it. My dad watched it all on Netflix one time. Fromology is the study of what. Fromology. You could guess this. Come on. Foam, folding clothes, or cheese. My God. I, I know people are purposely now throwing this quiz. Liz Hennessy, my game froze. Refresh, Liz. Refresh. Refresh. Don't go out and back in. Just refresh it. Yeah. If your fine. game freezes, always refresh your screen. If your if your score disappears, it will come back eventually. And if not, we have it stored. In a filing cabinet. 87% went for cheese and fromage. 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 Uh, 11. Do you want to do them or will I? I'll work away. Fair enough. Question 11. It's oh, moving on. New page. Ah, thank you. Which is my crush. Our, look at that. Our points are gone. Ah, well, thank you. <laughs> what is the name of Amazon's brand of smart speaker that connects to voice controlled personal assistant called Alexa? Is it Echo, Link, Hive, or Home? Bart, your points are now mine. <laughs> and... Oh! Uh, Google oh. is the Google Home. Google Home. Hive, Hive. is Hive. That's the temperature. Is that, is that that's yeah, is. The, the, the Hive now is expanded and it's now doing lights and other things as well. Lights and smart plugs. And a link, I made that up myself, but it sounds like a really good one and I should actually uh, TM. TM, TM, you heard us. 
Oi, oi, oi. Go back to the Chinese checkers, Kristen. No. 12. Uh, an iconic road sign located just south of Las Vegas Strip welcomes visitors to what? So it, the way it's written, this is, it welcomes it to amazing Las Vegas, fabulous Las Vegas, astounding Las Vegas, or spectacular Las Vegas. So it's amazing, fabulous, astounding, or spectacular that Las Vegas sign welcomes you. Whoop. Jess Benson um, has got back onto me. Yes, Did she likes it. To my, uh, oh, they've been distracted. Her sister had a baby, which is great news. Congratulations. Perhaps. I'll be there. And she'll be there for the office quiz on Sunday. Yay! We'll That's see you soon. There we go. <sighs> right. Fabulous Las Vegas. Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas. What, stay, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. What happens in question 13 stays in question 13. Shaquille O'Neal and Robin Williams have both played which type of supernatural being on the big screen? A basketball star, stand-up comedian, genie, or toy maker. Now, only one of those is mystical. I'm expecting 100% here now, called At least. Is stand-up all one word or two words? It's two words. I don't know. Um, we're not even in the nineties. Seems to be a lot of like a lot of high, uh, a lot of people getting them right. There's just a few people just probably trying to get them too fast, thinking that that's the their strategy is to just pick and, and just go bang. A so, genie is the right answer. I'm a genie. I'm a genie. Oh, I'm a genie. Oh. Well, I'm seeing hey, a picture of tiny checkers, and they look like marbles. Are we? Are, are we? Are we on about Chinese checkers? No, she's still going about it. <laughs> 14. Chinese checkers, they use marbles, as far as I know. Yep. If, if you've got a peg one, you're using pegs probably because it's the oh, tab. Uh, how, over how many laps is the Indianapolis 500 contested? So how many laps did they go around in a circle? Is it 10,000, 500, 200, or 1,000? What was the cruddy Shaq film where he was a hero? There's loads of films with Shaq in it, isn't there? Shaq films. And... He was in Kazan. Steel. Shaq was in Steel. That's the one you're thinking about, the superhero one. Uh, 500 is what you thought. It's not. I think it's I think it's 200. Ooh. Yeah. You would think that the it's a trick question. 15 seconds, lads. We're panicking. That's do you want me to extend it to 20 I've never heard of a supernatural stand up comedian exactly Robert because that was the wrong answer um, 15 in the United States National African American History Month is celebrated when so which month do they celebrate National African American History Month June November August or February no stay on 15 What's the code? Oh, Terrence Moultrie. Oh, Terrence, if you've joined in too late, unfortunately, uh, the code is now closed. We sell the tickets beforehand, so if you didn't buy a ticket, you can still play along and shout away at the screen. But please shout don't away, put any, yeah. But please don't put any answers into the uh, chat. I know. Fifteen is fun. Don't drag this out too much, Mike Riley. Don't drag it out. I'm sorry. Like uh, February is the correct answer with thirty-seven percent of you getting it right. Well done. Sixteen. Uh, when you use a key resource to gain advantage in a deal, it is said that you are playing what kind of card? Is it a trump card, a top card, a high value card, or the best card? What kind of card is the first one, Pat? Yeah. I thought you'd use the filter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have Snapchat filters between now and the next quiz. 98%. Oh, oh we so close again. 1% went for top, 1% went for high value card, but 90. And my fat fingers there for Paul Cousin, which should be your middle name, Paul Fat Fingers Cousin, getting it wrong. And 98% getting it right. Well done, T. That filter haunts my nightmares. Colm O'Sullivan says, What movie's famous counting cards scene is spoofed in the 2009 comedy The Hangover? Which is also set in fabulous Las Vegas, by the way. Just you know. Is it Rain Man, 21, The Cooler, or Casino? 
So close to the air horn. That's the name of your sex tape. No. So close to that air horn. I think that's an easy one as well if somebody has any bit of knowledge of movies. 16% went to Rain Man. It's not a bad, uh, you know, some people have never seen The Hangover. Some people like, don't, mightn't remember Rain Man. It's if definitely you 68. Rain it's 68 percent it. definitely 68 definitely definitely 68 move it on question 18 it's definitely 18 definitely 18. which finger-shaped chocolate bar was introduced in 1935 and was originally called the round trees chocolate crisp finger shaped chocolate bar this is a snack question mm. snack question this is a past question here now is it a drifter a kit kat or a twix Pat, you've got to make your decision. You got six seconds. Uh, Kit Kat. You're going for Kit Kat. I think you're right. The Twix wasn't released until a lot later, but 1935, I think the Kit Kat. Was. Drifter was very late. Was oh, later. I think that's the 70s or 80s bar. Food uh, on the way. What are movies, Adon? Adon, what are movies? My mate and Paul Custon saying my neighbor made a sex tape. They just don't know it yet. Fifty-eight percent went for the uh, Kit Kat. The answer is correct. Believe it or not, out of any chocolate bar in the world, there are more, more variety of Kit Kat, and most of them. And when I say when I say most of them, I mean ninety-eight percent of the world's variety of Kit Kat only exists in Japan. They have crazy. Look it up. Look up the different varieties of Kit Kat. There must be two hundred and fifty plus. Question nineteen: Which of the following is not part of the modern pentathlon? Pentathlon. Is it fencing, show jumping, or sailing? Sports question. What the? On your private chat as well, there, Pat. Yes. Yeah. And. Yeah. And. <laughs> yeah. Are critters still around? Well, not too sure. Uh, Thirty-nine percent are going for show jumping. Forty-one percent are going for sailing. I think it's sailing. It, it is. is well done. Our drifters, I mean. Uh, in two thousand eleven, the Department of Homeland Security did away with using which of these to indicate terrorism threat levels. This is fifty-fifty, guys. So which did they do away with? Did they do away with numbers to go with colors or did they go away, get rid of colors to use numbers? So which one did they get rid of? Numbers or colors? Drifters are still around. And they're good. I don't know if they are, are they? I just looked up and Donald Trump was on the television. My God, I thought he was coming to get me. Are you um, sure drifters are still around? I think, yeah, definitely. Nestle discontinued the Drifter before introducing it in 2008. And in early 2019, the Drifter was again discontinued by Nestle. So it hasn't existed since last year. No. There you go. Revelations, Pat. Revelations. I must have been eating out of date Drifters there last week. Myra O'Reilly goes, you tend to see Drifters in shops with bigger selections. It, the shops that you're going to are selling out of date Drifters, Myra. Just so you know. You're buying out of date food. You're out of the chocolate bar. 74% to went away with they did away with the colors, so they got rid of the old amber and red alerts, and now they're going with you know the defcons or whatever it is. Defcon five. five. Right. Scoreboard. Let's see who is top of the board. Emma and, and still love S. Da, 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 da. They got 19 out of 20. They got 1621 points. There's about 40 points between them and Colm O'Sullivan second place. Uh, we've been seeing him up there in a while, actually, up the up in this in the top three, and not far behind them. Only one point separating second and third. Kieran O'Neill uh, is in, got about 18 points as well. Anyone else miss Moro bars? I think more or less they're, they're boost bars. Boost. It's a boost now. Did they change the name or did they change the the the, the recipe? They just changed name. Nani is still selling drifters out of her pram outside Tolman Park. Uh, chocolate, isn't that that fella? That's a, oh. It does your head in. It, it does my head in as well. I love Dermot and Dave with that 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 second. I'd I'd swap over to 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 to. to I'd swap over to. What's his name? PJ Coogan.
I'm mid-table, says Colm O'Sullivan. I'm a mid-table contender, Colm O'Sullivan. More or now boost, Kate Murphy saying. I saw, uh, I saw so many dearly missed chalky bars. Let's find out discontinued chocolate bars. Um, also, decide there when we're coming back. We'll, we'll, we'll do the next questions at half past. So you've got just three and a half minutes. It's not long. I, I, the timeout is gone. I didn't know that. What? You can't, you can't get a timeout anymore. You can't get uh, a Taz bar. There's no such thing as Taz bars anymore. Ch Cadbury's Mint Crisp is gone. Cadbury's Snowflake, which is the one with the white chocolate center with the, with the milk chocolate on the out. Mars Delights are gone. Nestle's Vice, Vice Versus. When are you when are we coming back? Oh, half us. I said half us on the button. Half us on the button. So you want to go for two minutes. Run, two run, and a half run, minutes. Run, run, run. Two and a half minutes. Cadbury's Tiffin. Cadbury's Touchdown Bars are gone. The Cadbury's Fuse. The Cadbury's Marble. The Aztec. Um, there was the 54321 bar. You remember those? Do you remember 54321? I do. Five, four, three, two, one. Din, 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 din. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, somebody sent me a picture of uh, Chinese checkers with pegs from Wish. Get out of us. Get out. Get out of us. White mall teasers. Echo bars. A timeout. I, I, I still don't believe the timeout is gone. The Cadbury's timeout is, is continued. Cat Tar Caramac. Uh, do, 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 do. moments remember those moments they were like aero bubbles and Cadbury's dreams all gone Colin would you believe we only have two people for the halftime show is that all well there's still time if anyone wants to do it drop me a message I already have two people we got loads of people after saying there now. This generation's in uh, interested for a chocolate quiz. Uh, this is gener generating interest for a chocolate quiz. It could be done. Consider us on a diet. Shut up, says Bernadette Leiden. We used to be able to buy a Yorkie with the label saying not for girls. Not anymore. Uh, oh, man, Colin, this is heartbreaking. I'm sorry for doing that to you, Moira. Uh, more recently, the milk and white chocolate arrows are gone. And you can't buy a, an orange arrow anymore, but you can get very close little or sorry, Aldi do a version of what would have been the orange uh, arrow bar. You've got yourselves, look at your phones, look at your phones, look at your phones, look at your phones. You've got yourselves 40 seconds. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Timeouts are still available, but you can, but only one finger and mint crisps are still available too. From what, from the list I got there, I was only reading out a list that was up on Facebook or on YouTube, or well, sorry, on uh, one of those listing sites. Uh, how do we enter the halftime show? Uh, Shona, uh, right down the bottom. I want to win. Send a message to Pat on Instagram. You can see it above Patrick or Harris Facebook. or Facebook. What is this? An AGM for the Chocolate Appreciation Society? Yes, Andrew Naylor, it is. Shane Weldon, uh, we're going to also show your video as well later on for J90. Yeah, Pink Snacks is gone now, and they brought out a timeout wafer. Pink Snacks gone. Stop it. Big shout out to Patio Gods. That's from Chanel Cotton. Uh, can't get caramellos in the UK. If someone is a uh, if someone is a YouTube entrepreneur, Cadbury's Ginger Bang. What the hell is that? Uh, timeouts are still available, but you can only get them in single fingers. That's the name of your sex tape, Robert. Um, Bart Simpson is sick. We're like, hold on, we're doing the next round. So you got ten seconds. I think uh, tax. They think they. I think tax changed for, to Fredo bars. There we go. I'm one quarter Canadian, says Bart Simpson. Yeah, wrong one. And they ruined yellow snacks as well. Tax. Tax. Right. Next, a lot of questions. Your phones, next lot of questions. Pat's going to do all of them. Yes. As Wait, I don't voice. <laughs> I don't mind doing it if you want. I don't care. <laughs> right. Question 21. Who featured with Ed Sheeran on the 2019 number one hit single, Take Me Back to London? I definitely wrote that one. Getting a writing credit, yeah. Was it Stormzy, Justin Bieber, or himself? To be honest with you, at that point, when he, I think the only person he's not done a duet with is himself. So I wouldn't Me. be surprised if. 
I'm going to be on David Guetta and an Ed Sheeran. Uh, I know. If, what, Rihanna, at one point, and David Guetta more or less just joined forces with every other person on the planet, and he is now them. 88%. 88%. Stormzy. Stormzy. Uh, 24% yeah. went for himself. There you go. What name is given to the young of a bat? A bat. Is it Pop, Cub, or Kit? Yeah, Rocky Bars are still knocking about. Rocky Bars. I saw him last week there in Naldi. Caramel Rocky Bars. Oh, yeah. I'm just looking at pictures of them. It always comes back around to snacks. And... 46% said pup. They are their pups. Bat pups. Bat pups. Bat pups. 23. That's a good In that, the original that's... films, the Pink Panther refers to what? A priceless painting, an ancient vase, or a diamond? Bat pups. There you go. That is a name of a new kids' TV show. You could just. Bat pups. Um, Rachel Dole, McCroom Bears. Uh, with Diamond. Correct. 24. Litigophobia. L Litigophobia is a fear yeah. of what? We've had this before, right? No. Long queues, lawsuits, or literature. Have we had it in another quiz? No. I have a I have a list of questions that came in different TV shows and stuff like that. And the are you smarter than a 10th grader? And uh, those questions are more difficult than all the rest of them put together. I was like, what? Look at this. It's lawsuits. Right I think most of us fear lawsuits, if I'm being honest with you. I think we're all litigophobes. Oh. Litigophobes. I know for one, I'm a litigophobe. Uh, which is the name of the killer in A Nightmare on Elm Street? Is it Freddy Krueger, Chucky, Jason Voorhees, or Ghostface? You can put on the thing there and hang up the beginning and I'll gut you like a fish. I'll gut you like a fish. What's your favorite scary movie? Um, oh, you're after jumping back to Lysicophobia. I didn't press anything. There you go. Stick it up there. Let them answer again. Sorry about Remember that. Pat pressed the wrong button. button. I'm blaming Pat. I didn't. Pat pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I didn't. I swear. Um, Ninety-six percent. Well done. Twenty-six on a yacht. What are sheets? What's going on with the questions? You should be on question 26. Oh. Ropes, beds, or sails? And all the answers are in. 76% said sales. Ropes. Yeah, this you said sheets are ropes, chains are um guides. Um they, they, they get pulled to bring up the sale. The sale is the sale. Now we can look in and see who are the fancy ones, but do a bit of the yacht, right? I've I'll show you for yacht. We're out on the yacht for the weekend. Yep. Yeah. Uh 27. Which of these title characters rarely talks? Mr. Bean, Mr. Magoo, Magnum P.I., MacGyver. Three sheets to the wind. Yeah, that More means right. you're yeah, that means you're pulling three ropes to turn the sail to the wind. Ninety. All that time spent on the poop deck. Is the poop deck really what I think it is? 98% Mr. Bean. Oh. It's my Mr. Bean impression. Come on. 
<laughs> Kingfisher is a brand of beer from which country? Kingfisher. If you're from that country, it's, it's, it's better. India, Australia, Japan. 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 <laughs> it sounds like something you'd say, right? Wouldn't it? Blame Japan. Have you been on a submarine? How do we get these with a knife? 52% saying India, 38% saying Australia. It is from India. Yeah. Well, actually, there's an IPA, special IPA from a brewery on the show. Australia. No, that's the answer. New South Wales. TV question. How many seasons of Sons of Anarchy was there? <laughs> Too many. Three, one, seven, ten. It's really it's fairly spread that out. That shouldn't have existed. The one they did one in Northern Ireland, which was California. <laughs> but they made Just everything with a, filter, with a blue filter, probably. They always do that. <laughs> yeah, the, the old yellow line still up the middle of the road. Anytime, anytime they're like in, in any of those kind of TV shows that are filmed over there, anytime they go to places like you know um, Kuwait or any of these kind of Iraq. Or they even go to Mexico. They always use a yellow filter to suggest that it's a desert like. How many suns was there? My general knowledge is worse than I thought. Sorry, cat. Welcome to the club, Welcome to the club cat. Lovely smile there uh, in that photograph. Lovely Anyone smile. Know? Lovely smile. Seven. The correct answer. 30. Who was Boris Johnson referring to in 2015 when he wrote, despite looking a bit like Dobby the house elf, he is a ruthless and manipulative tyrant. Now think of Dobby the house elf. Vladimir Putin, Donald Trump, or Justin Trudeau. Think of Dobby the house elf. One of those character people there reminded him of, of, of Dobby the house elf. So if you're if you're into your Harry Potter, which I'm not, even though I know who Dobby the house elf is, I would have got it right. 74% of Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin. Hmm? Right, 10 more questions, then we're going to have a big break. Big break. Big break. De -de 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 -de. How many panels are on a traditional soccer ball? A traditional one. The one that had all the patches that you had in the 80s and 90s. Was it 32, 20, 48, or 12? Come on, Paul. You'll get this. Um, a soccer ball has because it represents each of the countries in Europe 32 panels there you go 20 hexadagonal and 12 pentagonal so it has 32 question sorry hexa, hexadagonal nice segue into question 32 which actor links the movies Shooter, Transformers, Age of Extinction, and Spencer Confidential? Tom Cruise, George Clooney, Edward Norton, or Mark Wahlberg? Did you watch uh, Spencer Confidential? I did. It's only all right. It's, it's, it's watchable. Yeah. It is all right. It, it, it's a good way, for, uh, good way to pass, pass 90 minutes, like. Yeah. Good. I, 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 like, um, I like the old villain. I can't think of his name anymore. Uh, uh, is it not Alan Alda? Alan Arkin, I think is his name. He's a, I like him. I think uh, Beth probably wants us to say, Hey, donkey. Hey, donkeys. Hey, Transformer. Uh, you want to be in a movie? Hey, Transformer. Three. What was that? Uh, a financial advisor drags his family from Chicago to the Missouri Lake area where he must launder money to appease drug boss. Name the TV show from the IMDb plot. We definitely had this in the TV. Uh, quiz. I think we might have, yeah. Yeah, Narcos, The Sopranos, Ozark, McMafia. No harm if a question pops up once or twice. Yeah. It just means that you've been paid off in the and it rewards people who come back. And it also gives me a chance to write off one question out of seventy. <laughs> <laughs> These questions Ooh. take time to make. Pat is busy doing other things, and I'm busy doing quizzes. So we have a lot on our plate, and sometimes mistakes get made. But that's all right. What's the movie quiz? Yes, uh, eighty-eight percent. Ozark just finished uh, season three. It's good. Should I stick with it? Yes. All right. I've, I've, I've still started the shield. I think I'll start the shield tonight. Or do the shield. 34. 
What was the name of Han Solo spaceship in Star Wars? See, these are the caliber questions people wanted at the Star Wars quiz, I think, Colm. But it's too easy. I'd even get this and I'd never even seen a film. Babylon 5. Daedalus, Event Horizon or Millennium Falcon? Daedalus. Daedalus. I had an eye patch. Mm. By the way, Event Horizon is the scariest, one of the scariest films I've ever seen in my life. You ever see it? Yes. Fuck that. Yeah. Why was it? Uh, Simpsons goes. Ninety-three percent. The Millennium Falcon. One people. One percent went for Event Horizon. There you go. And Babylon Five, which is like its own TV show. Thirty-five. Uh, In two thousand four, Kanye West released his first album. What was the title? So Kanye West's first album. Was it called College Dropout? Jesus graduation or Jesus is King. I love the way that the people have chosen Millennium Falcon and Paul Cusson just shouts out nerds. 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 Uh, One inspector. 53% college dropout. I knew it would be between graduation and college dropout. College, college dropout, dropout is the correct answer. 36. Jesus is King was the recent one. Collective nouns, a train of what? A train of what? Is it a train of elephants, a train of cam camels, or a train of goats? Myra O'Reilly is a Elephant proud nerd. Bernadette Leiden is saying, can I write questions for next week? We might get a decent score then. <laughs> and Paul Simpson, did you control. have an earring? That was from Colm O'Sullivan. And then Myra O'Reilly answered, I had an earring, which we took off before he left. And oddly enough, needed it to plug a very specific pinhole leak. There you go. What? So I'm assuming it's about, it's about the the hole in the the hull. Oh, there you go. Simpsons you really are watch that. Sixty-eight percent camels is the correct answer. Train Thirty-seven. In which American state is the city of Las Vegas? What is this? A what Las is Vegas, Vegas quiz? quiz. Las Vegas movie quiz. New York. Texas, California, or Nevada? I know. I'm Why, we know so that the submarine talk going on in the background. We know that. All right, like. We just jump in and out of the chat. We pick up half what's going on. Uh, oh! oh. I was, look, I was finger on the air horn. 98% Nevada. 38 which has the greater maximum length? Now we're going to show you two pictures of myself and Carl. Um, a baseball bat or a cricket bat? Peter Should do a quiz good. where each each team submits one question each. I don't know, each. I don't know how you think that's going to work and work reasonably. No one right, be given uh, out. I'll be arguing, and then a team somebody's. And then you always got someone be like, but they all know each other. Those six teams have to wrote six questions and they shared them. We set up a Zoom and if it's if it's questions at all, we can just put them on the screen. Uh, let's see. 44% lower percentage with the right answer. It is a baseball bat. 39. Popping and locking are moves associated with what style of dance? Do not get this wrong. Break dancing, ballroom, salsa. I'm not looking. Ninety-eight percent. Oh, oh, for God's sakes! Salsa how dancing. Many, how many? How many? Three people uh, went for salsa. One person went for ballroom. Imagine if you're doing ballroom and someone was parking and hopping and locking. Oh my god, they've changed the whole sport. <laughs> he dared to. He's a break dancer who dared to do ballroom. Oh my lord. Forty. Right, we're gonna have a break after this. Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet is set primarily in which Italian city? 
Rachel Dowell is saying sabotage. It is. We've been having saboteurs yeah. on site Rome, for a while. Rome, Milan, or Venice. We, I think we have got deliberate. I think people are deliberately getting questions wrong. There's a few, there's a few bad apples out there. Ninety-one uh, percent with Verona. Right scoreboard. Who was top of the board last time? It was Emma and something or other. Can't remember what it is now. Let's get it up. That's what she said. Oh, they're gone. All change at the top. Thanks. Uh, Emma and, with... Emma and Stell love are down in 18th place now. They've gone from 1st to 18th place. Giovanni mm -hmm. Fags has in 1st place. 3,200, a lovely round score. 51 points behind is Risky Quiznos in 2nd. And no justice for old John. Are, what, are, what, are, what are we looking at here? Uh, yeah, 50 points behind. So, yeah, it, it, there's a question between 1st and 2nd and a question between 2nd and 3rd. Cool Cats and Kittens, nice name in 58th place there at the moment. Uh, the Balancholic Gooseberries are in 73rd, just above Deb and John. Uh, Schumann Hayes are in 76th place. Terry Loves Yogurt. There we go. I spotted you there. You're in the early 80s. Absolute Carnage in 88th place. Ken Dog's dead, dead dog. I can never say it properly, really, but I'm not looking at Tony Larson. There he is on his own, 95th with 29. It's still respectable when we're down in the hundreds and you're looking at 28 to 31 people. 31 questions right out of 40. Well done. John Corrigan in 112th. Right, Pat, get some people on. It doesn't make a difference. If it's two or one, we'll just get them involved. They can take me on. I'll, I'll do it. Yes. How Which many of you got? Challenge and uh, we have three people, so I'm gonna just join them in there. Uh, me. so we've got Colum, Sinead, and Emma. Colum, Sinead, and Emma. I'm so type their name. The, the next right. round will hopefully start at about 10 o'clock. So we're hoping that in the next 12 minutes, uh, we'll have this done, and at 10 o'clock, we will start the last questions and we'll have you in bed for half past 10, hopefully. So 10 o'clock, we're looking at the next set of questions. If you do want to run away, we will not start definitely before that time. But we are going to try and get this halftime show going now. There'll only be two rounds, so don't go far. Where's John? Justice for John. John needs to take a break. I, we, we, you know, he, I think we need, we need to give him a break. We have. Are they able to join in now? So those people who were called out there, if you can just follow but that. John, link. John, if you want to join in, you can join in. John wants in. I think there's a lot of cry oh, cries here for John to be brought in. Cat Murphy's also pointing out that that's ballroom dancing she'd pay to see. Pop it. Pop it, lock it, poke it up. There you go. Nice green. Screwballs are nice. Right. Are, are, are you going to join? Have we got them? Um, I'm just see if they pop in below here. Oh, we got columns on. There's Bring them on. We can talk. Wait, I never join in. Hi, right. hey, columns. Um, I'm just see. Oh, your column here. Oh, we got columns on. Oh, column, if you can turn us down on your television or on, turn us on the screen and talk to us on the phone or the laptop thing that you're watching. Is that better? That's way better. No, I can still hear us. I can still hear us a little bit. That's why we're getting. I can hear you. Turn off the stir or not turn off, just mute the stream and on this link you'll be listening to this this way. No, you muted yourself. <laughs> Get him back. <laughs> no. Keep, keep us on there. Right. Um, who else we and turn us down on YouTube? Emma then. Hi Emma. Hey, Emma. Hello. There you go. Hi. She's she speaks. How are you? Oh, she <laughs> named is in. Long time first time caller. Hold up. It looks like it's like middle of the day where you are. <laughs> I know. Emma, where are you? <laughs> looks like it's sunny. It is. Where's... It's where's dark outside my house. <laughs> <laughs> and Sinead, oh, you're, you're in Dublin, are you? Dublin, are you? It's for John yeah. there. So, Sinead, where are you? I'm in Dublin. It's Emma, where are you? Dublin. And Colin, where are you? I'm in Douglas. Douglas. Douglas, Dublin, and Dublin. We got ourselves a Douglas sandwich. With Dublin and the two white pieces of bread. <laughs> right. So you've got to get in contact with Justice for John there and just get him on quickly. 
Uh, right yeah, here. Oh. Right, so where are you positioned in the quiz at the moment, guys? Are you doing okay? Or are you just hoping to win or something here? We're 94. Not as good as the Simpsons. Uh, we, were, we were devastated. You were better at the Simpsons quiz. Sinead, are you yourself, have you done quizzes before? Who's that with you? I can see an arm. Hi guys. Hello. You, you, ah. you what was that? This, I recognize that face. <laughs> I saw him like two weeks ago. We had him two weeks ago. The guy from Dublin. We're like we ah. bought him bread in Dublin. Oh, they I had the back guy. Right, <laughs> right let's the do this. Try and stop beating him up and down. John, John can join in in a few seconds. But what we do? There he is. Hey, John. Say hello to John. How's it going? Hello, John. Right, Father. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> All right, we're, we're going to kick everybody. The first person is going to be Emma, so we're going to kick the rest of you there for a second. Stay in the background there. Uh, Emma's changed locations. Oh. Right, Emma, we're going to get you to this she's first gone. task. She's gone. She's paused. She's not moving. Hold on, I have Wi Fi issues. Wifi issues. Wifi issues. Right, get rid of Emma. Bring back Colum, and we'll we, we start with Colum. Oh, no, we can't. Okay. I can't. I can do. Right. Right. Call up. We're going to bring you back in. You're going to be the first one to continue this. Oh, thanks for that. Uh, right, yo. So. Sounds good. I know. Right. Get two left shoes. Left shoes. Oh. And got two left. Pants. I'm not door. sure if he was wearing pants. Turned out the sound there. Nine Love seconds. It. Hey. <laughs> well done. Uh, Radio. Right move on to Sinead. We're going to get rid of Column there for a second and then bring Sinead back in. Well done, Column. Thank you for wearing pants, Column. Thank you. Right, Thanks, Sinead. Sinead. Next. Let's hope you've got a back off that's going to help you. Get a spatula, regular. There we go. Very impressed. Uh, up next, so bright in Dublin. Dublin. I'm stunned at how bright it is in Dublin. You got a guy called John. Never saw it. Oh, nice to meet you, John. Nice to meet you, John. How's it going? Here he is. Here Long time player. Name five what is what is coming up. It's going to be 100. <laughs> These are 10. These you are all we've been practicing naming five things. No. Nope. Tell a joke. What's pink and fluffy? Pink fluff. There you go. That's a joke. <laughs> that was way too easy. Oh, John is, John is getting easy. excited. I'll take it. <laughs> you got rid of that 10 year old. He's flying it now. Um, right, we're gonna go to Emma. Is she there? She is with our fantastic uh, Wi Fi. Uh, well done, Emma. Pa Podrick has come <laughs> on and said, uh, Was it a spatula you asked for? Because that was a fish slice. That was, that was a spatula. You know, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Um, right, Emma, yeah, we're gonna spin the wheel, see how we do. She's not there, but we, 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 can, imagine. Imagine. we can hear her. Let's hope it's not show us that she's got something. Get a piece of fruit. I have no idea. <laughs> Tell us what you have. A lemon. A lemon. Yeah. A lemon. We oh, left it. Yeah. Just... <laughs> a lemon. We trust oh, you. We that. just. We trust, we trust you. you. And you're shy. <laughs> you're in third place. You're in third place. It's iPhone. It's crap. It is. We'll tell Tim That's Cook when he pops into the car that you said it. All right, we're going to bring Colin back in. Colin with pants. Thanks for wearing pants. Bring on the pants. I Wow, gun. Good. Cut, 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 cut. Right. Name 10 Irish soccer players. Patrick Donner, Ray Houghton, Ronnie Whelan, Niall Quinn, Robbie Keane, Roy Keane, um, Gary Breen, uh, Gary Kelly. Oh, sweet Jesus. Um, Alan Kelly. Jesus, 
I'm John Giles. There you go. There we go. Sweet Jesus Don't is definitely one of them. Sweet Jesus made uh, so the team. I, um, I'm just not hoping. Not true with or anyway. Uh, so Colm on 129. He's behind at the moment. Right. Thank you, Colm. Sinead, you're back in. I'm calling it a spatula. They're saying a fish slice, but get out of it. I, I'm going with the, that's a spatula. Right. Uh, Sinead, here we go. Name 10 restaurants. Um, Nando's Burger King, um, McDonald's, and um, the Italian Connection, and um, Luigi Vino, uh, Dante's Pizza, Adam in the Castle, and <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Pat, pat, pat. Uh, I'll give you, I'll give you the, the last one there. They did. Just it was about three seconds ago they got it. They didn't. They did. That was the last. They're all closed. That's what he said. All right. Um, I thought you changed those down to five. We'll move on to John, this young man. Hello, young John. Is he? It's not just me. All right. That they're shitty questions. They're, they're impossible. Uh, We've lost John, unfortunately. I think John, you're breaking up there. Same one you got. And he did it. <laughs> well, there. See how you get on. Please name 10 something. Yeah. Name 10 chocolate bars. Mars, Twix, Dairy Milk, Golden Crisp, Mint Crisp, Turkish Delight, Fried Chocolate Cream, uh, Touchdown, Fredo. And tomorrow, we gave him the ammunition. Well, we gave him the ammunition, and that's when he was firing back at us. We armed him, and he fired him right back at us. Oh, well, to be fair, to be fair, you named half of them tonight as well. Uh -huh. Right, we're going back to yeah. We've we we'll do one more because it's only we're going to start no. at ten. No, yeah, so. two minutes. No, no, Emma is giving her last one, and then we're done because we said we we're going to start to ten past, and that's one and a half. Oh, minutes. Oh, yeah, we've Emma. Emma's the last one, so Emma, you could win it yet. Please beat John. Right, uh, get rid of John. Hey! We see her. No, we can see you now. You have to show us that lemon again. We don't believe you. Yay! Finally. <laughs> Right, <laughs> it's God. all right. It's fine. it's fine. It's fine. Right, we're just gonna. Oh, there it is. There's a tennis ball. <laughs> Name ten Tom Cruise movies. There's an easy way to do this now. Go. Is she still talking? Yeah, but your music is too loud. It's docking her. No, her voice is gone. The I'm just going to do something very loud anyway. Yeah. The music is a bit loud. Right, Emma, we'll see what you got. 155. You still didn't win, uh, unfortunately. We're just going to bring everybody back in there quickly. Who do we else? Uh, did I forget somebody? Call him. Call him, where is he? Where is he? He's hiding up here somewhere. Here we go. Sorry. The uh, winner there was actually John. Justice for John. You can now retire. Justice done. You can now retire. <laughs> Wait for Andrew to retire. Uh, sorry to uh, end this column. And Sinead, you didn't win this week. You gave it a good go. Uh, Emma, we'll be sending you on the uh, connection. Next week, sending you bandwidth. A new one. Right. right. Thanks everybody for joining. In. Give a wave. Give a wave. We'll say goodbye. Bye. Um, we can go slowly but surely. There you go. Very hey. hot. Hey, warm and just, just warm. It is warm. I'm very open. fierce. Give me a second. Right. The next question is going to arrive in your phone at two minutes past ten. So two minutes past ten, which is one minute and thirty seconds from now. I'll be shouting. I'm just going to open the window. It's, it's so. As bright as anything in Dublin. It's a, a gate like there. Swampy weather outside. Right, so we're good. A round of 20 questions. It's a tiny little break, and then we got 10 to finish it off. <laughs> well, of course, and it's just a thing to point out. McDonald's, a restaurant. Imagine telling your wife you're taking her to a restaurant and take her to McDonald's for a Happy Meal or a fillet of fish. I'll tell you what, my wife would love that. Uh, fix. 
the it's movement winter, winter, so for John is officially over. Yeah, it's over. It's done for. The justice has been done. Yeah, we can put it to bed. It is done. I'd like to thank God Great and crack. Jesus, he says. Great crack. Thanks, lads. Thanks well, for wearing pants, Colin. Thanks, Colin. Uh, look at your phones, 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 look at your phones. You've got yourselves just about 30 seconds before we get this round underway. Lads, is, was Colum and Narcos? Why is everyone asking, was Colum and Narcos? You'll have to send us a picture. Boom, ding, 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 ding. Boom, boom, boom. I'm just going to take a so, uh, uh, John, I think, do we have John's phone number and email that I can send him on his voucher? Yes. We do. Perfect. You'll send that on to me and I'll send two vouchers off to the people who I supposed to, who the person I'm supposed to send tonight and the person I was supposed to send it to ages ago. Right. There we go. Next question is popping up on your phones now and we are sending it. I actually have John's uh, bank details so I could, I could just do that. Yeah, send him the cash if you want to. It doesn't make a difference. It's all it's the same. easier. Right. Question part one. Come to 20 questions. The Little Mermaid statue is a tourist attraction in which city? Copenhagen, Stockholm, London, or Paris? Very easy. We've we've had something similar before, I think. Yes. I think we actually put up the picture. I, that maybe it was a different quiz. Might have been a, a private quiz or something like that as well. Yeah, maybe. Ninety-three percent. Three percent. Yeah. It's tiny. I, I think I, I think I said the same thing. When you get out there and the you take the boat right yeah. out, it's so small. The famous actress that uh, what this famous actress was the model in the first issue of Playboy. Another easy one. That's a general quiz question. Marilyn Monroe, Sophie at Lorraine, uh, Jean Moreau, and or Audrey Hepburn. I would have bought that one. Are you getting rid of all your classic playboys, Colin? I am. I bought them as a Del Boy Trotter kind of a move when I was to try and see if I could shift them on as 21st and 30th birthday presents. They're they're moldy at this point. And then uh, I was going to use it as wallpaper in a, in a bar, but then we kind of moved on. We've kind of become a bit more woke since then. Marilyn Monroe, 81%. I was going to use the covers. In The Simpsons, what is the name of Sideshow side Bob's brother? There you go. They were giving out that they didn't win the Simpsons. There you go. Connor, Cedric, Cullum, or Cecil. Breathe, Cullum. Sounded out. I know, yeah. I suppose I'm uh, just a bit out of breath after the uh, round a minute ago. Opening the window. There was a lot going on there. There was a lot going on. So, ooh, Cedric got 28%, but you'd be wrong. I think people thought Cedric was Cecil when they were reading to try and get as fast as points as they got. But it wasn't. It's Cecil. 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 And uh, 44. Jackie, Jermaine, Marilyn, Michael, and which other brother make up the Jackson 5? Tito, Thomas, Marilyn, again, or Tyrell? Tyrell. That's exactly what happened to me. Yeah, I went for Cedric instead of Cecil. The panic. I can't concentrate on this quiz with the wrong nan bread. So I'm assuming your takeout came with the wrong nan bread. Listen, oh count your lucky stars. You can get takeout. So just eat the bread and be quiet. Tito is the correct answer. Tito, give me a, give me a tissue. Wasn't that the famous uh, Eddie Murphy gag? Tito, give me a tissue. What does the Latin Luna mean? Easy. Long. Crazy. Moon. Bright. My finger is on the button. On the button. Me. <laughs> My finger is on the button. Me, me. Me. Push the button. No. God almighty. Bright. No air horn to they call it. That's what she said. Too fast. Lu Too furious. Lunar. 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 Luna. Luna. Bear in the big blue house. Uh, what is the stage name of Adam Richard Wiles? So Adam Richard Wiles is the stage name of which of these people? Or sorry, what is the name of Adam Richard Wiles' stage name? Is it David Guetta, Calvin Harris, Major Lazer, or Robin Schultz? Hold on, Cat Murphy knows that's another question. What was the name of the evening TV show Ray Darcy had? And he got Jim from the uh, Corazon and the whole... 
Justice for Jim thing. Was that a thing on Justice? For, I don't know. Did Ray Darcy have a TV show in the middle of the day? Justice for Jim. That seems familiar. Now it's too cold yes, with the window open. Familiar. Now it's too cold with the window open. <laughs> too I'm a pity. Too cold now. 60% Calvin Harris is the correct answer. The Den. Uh, <laughs> Dick Dalton just coming in. The Den. In 2003, hit song Hey Yeah, What? The band Ocas urged listeners to shake it like a what? Oh my lord. Whenever. Can you. I'm just gonna. Getting a bit laggy there with the questions. Your booty, vanilla milkshake, Polaroid picture, or baby's rattle? Shake it like a baby's rattle. Shake it like a booty. Justice for John. Justice for the great man. Paul Cusson is saying he'd be better off <laughs> Things are easy songs. By the way, Polaroid came out afterwards and says it's, it doesn't help actually shake the no. photograph and make it better. In fact, you're, you could possibly make it worse. So don't shake them. Don't shake your Polaroid pictures. Don't listen to Outcast. They're so wrong. In The Mask of Zorro and The Legend of Zorro, who played the character Elena de la Vega. Elena de la Vega is played by which actress? Is it Sofia Ver Vergara? Catherine Zeta-Jones? Salma Hayek? Or Eva Longora? Longoria. Laszlo Panaflex now is getting involved here, and he wants to know what nan did they send you, Bart? And Moira has been back and saying plain and plain. There you go. Evidently, plain nan. Plain nan bread. I think he was looking for a garlic nan and a plain nan. That's probably what they're looking for. To be honest, there's a big difference between a garlic nan and a plain nan. Catherine Zeta Jones, who's actually, I don't think, has any Latino heritage at all. She's from Wales. She just looks Spanish. She just looks South American. And she. Got the job. True of all, the captain of the Titanic survived the sinking of the ship. Big cheeky buttoner. Also true. It's the other way around. We should have a garlic and a kima. What's a kima? You'll have to explain that now as well. And a garlic from Moira. So you're short one as well, are you? I don't know, just, just a garlic and a kima. No, because she was getting a garlic as well. So they should have two garlics and a kima. Let us know where you ordered it from and we'll ring them live on air and ask them uh, what was the story. False. Yeah, he died on the ship. Sure. If, even if you watch the film, you'd see it. It's awful sad. It's awful sad. And the band were playing as well. Going down oh, spoiler. On a compass, where in Philadelphia was Will Smith born and raised? Not Will Smith himself, but the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Uh, west, North, East, South. In North Philadelphia, born and raised. There has to be 100% on this. There has to be. No, not a hope. I'm Don't forget, it's, you, can, you can follow myself and Pat on Instagram. Our handles are above. You can follow Pat's uh, page as well, uh, Pat Ahern, Patrick Ahern Entertainment on Facebook too. Give me a like. Or a regular baby picture. Ooh, in West Philadelphia. Born and raised. On the yes. playground, where he spent most of his days. So Bart is now getting just letting us know that they only sent two plane instead of what we asked for, and he's got an angry face. Uh, Kima is the meat. Fair enough. Fair enough. Eighty-three uh, percent for question fifty. Question six, fifty-one. Uh, what film links Sandra Bullock and Michael Caine? One of my favorite films. Michael Caine. My name is Miss Congeniality, Demolition Man. Now you see me, or Cars Two. People will never get 100% as the questions are phrased all wrong. That's from Christine Brown. You can, if you want to explain a little bit better to me, I would. We just want 100% on one question. Not yeah, all of them. All of the questions. Just one, like that, 85%. I haven't seen a walk like that since Jurassic Park. 85%, 52 where did the Bay of Pigs take place? I'm assuming that is grammar grammatically correct for you there, Christine. Uh, where did the Bay of Pigs take place? Ireland, France, Cuba, or Mexico? I'm assuming you mean all of the questions. 
are phrased all wrong. Most of them are just hopping from the... I'm, I'm only ball hopping now, Christine. I understand what you're coming from. But you'll have to be a bit more specific. Especially when the question is that easy. Ireland, France, Cuba, Mexico. Is it Ireland? Is it Ireland? And 1% thought the Bay of Pigs was Ireland. There you go, Christine. That's why we never Cuba. 53. Uh, what does a what does the lacrimal gland produce? The lacrimal gland, gland produce. Lacrimal. 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 Is it tears, mucus, or milk? It's a takeaway in Manchester. It may be time to admit. Um, forty-eight percent tear. I think it's the tear ducts. The what does lacrimal produce? Glenn, yes. it is tears. Believe it or not. That's this a biology quiz. Fifty-four. Multiplying two sides of a square gets you what? There's only two options here. Fifty-fifty. The square root or the area. So two sides multiply of a get you what square is it? The root square or area the? And that's B and A. That's my last time doing that. I'm getting yeah. bitten by flies now. 85%. I've got like, I've, the lights in this room now. We're tracking them all in. The area. I got stranded here in lockdown. Uh, is the famous ancient Greek statue is the famous ancient Greek statue known as the Venus de Milo made from dot 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 bronze, marble, or stone? So is the famous ancient you Greek statue known as the Venus de Milo made from bronze, marble, or stone? I know if to close the window. You didn't put gummy in there. That's shame. Shameful. What was that? Sweet. Sweet. Oh yeah, gummy de Milo. That's the gummy de Milo, not the Venus de Milo. Seventy-five percent marble, marble. Mm. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. You're made straight, all the time. Fifty-six. Uh, what type of flower features in a series of still life paintings by Vincent Van Gogh? One of the one of which one of which sold for forty million dollars in nineteen eighty-seven and set a new world record of the highest amount ever paid for a work of art at the time. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Is it lilies, daisies, sunflowers, or gardenias? What is so what type of flower features in a lot of Vincent van Gogh stuff? Still life paintings. Two, One two of art art million dollars. What's this, an art quiz? God almighty, we can't, we can't please anyone. You can take away the thing at the bottom of the screen that says if you wish to partake. 92% oh, yeah. sunflowers is the correct answer. Well done to you guys. Question 57. What does the mighty Thor throw at his enemies? There you go, your Marvel Universe people. People are still going to get it wrong. They're going to tank it on purpose. And I, I, I know I know. there's a few people who must have had uh, his shield, hammer, his sword, or his lunch. His shield, his hammer, his sword, his lunch. What did he have for lunch? No. Depends. Depends. Well... In Marvel 54, Avengers, uh, oh, The Return, he, he was armed with a sword and he did throw to people. Take that flingsy sandwich. 97%. You know what? I actually think that we've got a few people now who are throwing this on purpose. So, And I'm going to check. I'm going to check. I'm going to check them, right? I'm going to check them. And then I'm going to... So we'll mm -hmm. actually Colin Furlong's coming in here. He knows it because he did throw a shield or something in the last uh, in in the last film. But come on, fifty eight. What fruit is displayed on the top of a Wimbledon trophy? Of the Wimbledon trophy, what fruit would you find? It's again, it's only fifty fifty here. Would you find a pineapple or a strawberry? There's an, an R missing there. Apologies, Christine. There Which reminds me, Mary Mount Hospice are having online falls during this weekend. Where you can virtually plant a sunflower by donating. There you go. Thank you, Kat. Great to know. We'll we'll call out it again at the end. Um, ooh. 
Wimbledon's all about the strawberries and cream, but that's it. It's a pineapple Just supposed to be on the top. I was trying to figure pineapple at the top. Bart Simpson says he might yeah, have thrown his back out once or twice when he's done with tour. Question 59. In New York City, an estranged couple who witnessed a murder are relocated to a small town in Wyoming as part of the Witness Protection Program. Name the Hugh Grant movie from the plot. Notting Hill, two weeks notice, music and lyrics, or did you hear about the Morgans? If you watched all those, it wouldn't be a bad day. I haven't seen Notting Hill, haven't seen two weeks notice, only saw music and lyrics because you told me to, and I haven't just seen Did You Hear About the Morgans. Mainly, mainly just down to the music at the start. Yeah, other than that, it was good. my heart, pop goes my heart. Every. 81%. Did you hear about the Morgans? Is correct. Yeah, Jessica Parker was his uh, close down that one. It's only all right. It's not Hugh Grant's best. On what type of surface are the tennis matches at Wimbledon played? What's this, a Wimbledon quiz? <laughs> it's an easy one. And again, is it clay, sand, or grass? It really should be 100%. And I know people are throwing it on purpose. I can see them there now. Throwing it Wim on purpose. That sounds way too serious for a Hugh Grant movie. He's still a bumbling idiot in him, I'm guessing. Is he? Grass. There are people trying these on purpose now at this point, so they just don't want they they want to see the world burn. Ninety three percent getting it right, or else they're just grammatically incorrect and there's you know they just really can't make head nor tail of it. Right, Giovanni Fags again, still at the top. Just seven points shy of five thousand. 150 points now behind them. 100, even more, 160 or 70 points. I can't do my math that quick. Risky Quizness and Dan F Fury got uh, 4807. So only two, about 20 points between him and second and third. The French Open is played on clay. Yes. Um, my really, I really thought it wasn't grass. In 50 second spot. Uh, Mike Breen is in 61st. Ben Hearn, how are you, Ben? Uh, in 69th position. Uh, you can see there, like, John Feature. Oh, you get to get to get to get how you doing? Ken Dodd's dead. I can't even read that. Man. It's Ken, yeah. Dad, Ken Dodd's dad's dog is dead. Away in a Catholic way. I will argue that marbles is, in fact, a stone. Okay, but stone wasn't one of the options, so... Uh, oh no, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I thought you were still talking about the pegs question there for a minute. I thought you were going on about pegs, marbles, and pegs. I'd walk and swim back to Cork for a nan from Spice Route in McCartan Street. Mm. I, I think you need to go a little bit further out to uh, Kerry Pike, and I need to, you need to get yourself out to the uh, the Gaylord. I, uh, well, there's an interesting story about how the US Open ended up being hardcore. You'll have to tell us that now, Colm. Uh, what, what, one hundred percent, one option? Yeah, one. You, 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 Andrew. I'm not going to throw it for it. I'm not throwing it. There, there'd be people trying to figure a way to not answer it. Stone was an option. Yeah, we get it. Come on, it, we, we want to be specific enough. Papa Dom is in Dublin. Are lovely too. There you go. Right, we're only going to give you a minute or two to. Do you, uh, want, you want to play that J ninety song and then have to get it first. Hmm. Oh, I thought you already got it. We'll show it at the end, so. No, they're looking for it. I'll look for it. I'm doing a million things. Send you the link there. There you go. Come on. Where did you send it to me? Uh, the private chat. All right. We all must meet up in a restaurant in Cork when this is all over. Which McDonald's is better for you people? <laughs> he did it with an air cell question, <laughs> but that was a hollow victory. Play it after the last question, just in case there's an issue. Fair enough. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Bart. The pineapple were considered the symbol of wealth. That's from Andrew Naylor. And I think the pineapple now is now the international symbol of welcoming, I think it is. Or, you know, the hot... Being, as in like you're welcoming someone to a new house or you give them a pineapple or you're welcoming them to the town or you're welcoming them to the village and you give them a pineapple. 
Maybe it's to show that you're wealthy and that you can afford to give someone a pineapple. Maybe that's where that stemmed from, possibly from where you're saying. Um, he's just jealous. That's Moira. Play it after the last question, just in case. Again. There we go. Perfect. Uh, we're up to date. Right, we'll do the next question. So, uh, right. 20 seconds. No, we'll say 23 minutes past. That's one minute and a half from now. One and a half minutes from now, you'll get the next one. So 23 minutes past 10, the last 10 questions. It'll only take us about five or six minutes to get them done. They're nice and fast this week. And we'll have you in bed, as we said, by half past 10, because we know some of you don't like to be up this late. You get cranky. Like me, basically. Like, like me. Cool. And again, our uh, handles for Instagram are at the top of the page. Patrick Hearn Entertainment and Cullum Lockheed. My name is um, very hard to spell unless you can see it written down. So you can spot it up there. L-O-U-G-H-E-E-D. You can follow us on Instagram. You can send us messages and tag us, whatever you want to do. Um, we're lovely people. And if you ever need to just have a chat, don't, 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 contact, don't contact Pat. But we're always around if you ever need it. Uh, I'm no treat tonight, lads. That's from Martina Walsh. <laughs> I think that's great. Right. Martina right. watches no threat. It's very late, guys. Time for bed. That's from Aidan Dalton. Oh, I thought this finished. Uh, give, us, give, us, give us two more minutes. Just two more minutes. Look at your phones. Look at your phones. Look at your phones. Look at your phones. Just... Next question is 20 seconds away for you. 20 seconds. Look at your phones. Look at your phones. Look at your phones. Samantha White nearly walked away. I thought this was finished. <laughs> Thank God. I didn't go anywhere. She was already closing it. I don't think she'd lost. 93% saying grass on that last question. Can we get 100% in the next round? Check all these. Okay, but learn to say my name. It is. Gonna have to phonetic. Aideen Dalton, am I saying it right? Aideen. I would say Aideen. 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 Do you work for Starbucks now? Right! And... Question 61. William Shatner is Canadian. True or false? My, my, false my or true? Name. My nephew is uh, called Adon. That's why sometimes when I see names like that, I just pop up. I say the first name that I think of in my head. So it's Adine. Adine Dalton. And... We get 50-50 in this. No, 85% say that is true. It is true. He is from Canada. <laughs> Speaking of Shatner, Paul, okay, Paul Custom oh. is about to line up a joke. Here we go. Tom Hanks has been nominated five times for Best Actor in a Leading Role Oscar, Cast Away, Saving Private Ryan, Forrest Gump, Philadelphia, but which 1988 film was his first time being nominated? Big Money Pit, Splash, Turner and Hooch. Uh, since that question has been written, I think he's actually been nominated again this year. So, so someone will be like, you know, he's been nominated six times because he was nominated for you know one this year as well. The question is still right, regardless of if there was a sixth time he was nominated for Best Actor in a film, because the question is about his first time being nominated, not the last time. Uh, 64% said big. That is correct. Well, technically. He should have got a combination of Turner and Hooch, to be fair. The dog should have got it. What is another term for a police informer? Informer. Mark. Nark. Bark. Lark. Might as well just put one answer in there. No, I, I, you know, there's someone tanking it on purpose. I know there is. And what I can see is I can see their emails and I can find out if they paid. And I'm going to dump them. I'm going to block them. He is. I'm scared. I, I'm scared to say if anyone's alleged anymore. And, and just in case, like in five years' time, it comes out that there's some sort of monster like Kevin Spacey. Like, you know, <laughs> oh, and I, I'm going to repeat this part all the time. Tom Hanks is a legend. Colum Lucky loves Tom Hanks. Oh, no. <laughs> Kate Cat Murphy. I I, I, I I would like to think that he is. 64. Oh, because of the name So, which of these dessert names literally means pick me up in Italian? Is it tiramisu, crostata, or zabioni? Hey, we're just trying to have a good time, Nurk. 
Father Spodo Kimono. Uh, Not as he would know coming out, uh, backing me up for banning people who are purposely tagging themselves and not paying. Uh, call him zero policy. Let's do call him do. 36% Tiramisu. There we 60 go. 65. What is the name of the Nando's cockerel? What is the name of the Nando's cockerel? Is it Nanny, Narcy, Farsi, Dudu? And 54% said Nanny. It's Farsi. I know. Nanny, Nanny the Nando's cockerel. No. He see, he's, a, he's a Portuguese symbol, the rooster of Barcelos. So Barsi is short for Barcelos. It's it's you know, next time in Nando's when they come to take Barsi away, you say, Leave Barsi where he is there, thanks. The staff would be like, friend, leave Barcy alone. The staff would be like, oh, you mean Nanny? <laughs> <laughs> that damn them, call him and Pat. 66, when referring to a HDMI cable, what does the letter M stand for in HDMI? Sorry about that there. I fixed it for you there. Just... Memory, mass or mixer. Multimedia, Fix memory, mass or mixer. I fixed it there for Christine, just in case. A HDMI cable. To an, a, to an HDMI cable. I thought it could be said like that too, I suppose. If you're really posh. You're taking a very bad column, aren't you? Very bad. 91%. I'm dyslexic. I try my best. Multimedia is the correct one. I know, yeah. You forget the start of the question. Huh? What did it say? Uh, 67. According to the AA, what is the most common cause of car breakdowns in the UK? I know this is a stickler. Is it flat batteries or flat tires? you think there's a lot of callouts for either of those, wouldn't you? Mm. I'm just going to get my uh, air conditioning recharged in my car tomorrow. Oh, you don't have the fluid, is it? No, I'm getting a guy to do the whole shebang. Very warm babies. Sixty percent said flat batteries. It Did is. Uh, it said we got it correct, but it had a red X. <laughs> Don't know what happened there, Liz. Uh, no, no. We can actually go back and check, Liz. So sixty-six. Make a note of that there column. Liz Hennessy, sixty-seven. Sorry. All came up wrong here, too. Hmm. We'll check that question. Featuring on the 2019 John Lewis Christmas advert, the song, I can't fight this feeling anymore, was originally a hit single for which group? Here, too. A lot of people said it. Uh, is it Tiffany, Survivor, Toto, or Oreo Speedwagon? We can look at it there at the end anyway. So I know 67. We can follow that up. There's no problems, guys. And I can also check. It'll take a few minutes afterwards, but Pat can be talking away, doing his like, ramble. A nineties new single. Yeah. Forty-six uh, percent with the right answer. Audio Speedwagon is right. Sixty-nine. It's it was red, but it wasn't wrong. Ah. Uh, How's this? Call him something. Right. It just said it was uh, right, but it wasn't wrong. Okay, but we can still check it. The gossip website, www.tdd.com, or What Would Tyler Durden Do, re references a character from what film? So Tyler Durden is from what film? Is it Seven, Fight Club, Gone Girl, Panic Room? You go Pat. Look at the question. There you go. I just made it really. I know it's nice to have the little bit of extra info. 
Fight Club is the right answer. And the last question, ladies and gentlemen. In a 2002 hit, Grammy-winning artist John Mayer sings, Your body is a what? Your body is a... Wonderland, Temple, Mess. Your body is a wonderland. Your body is a temple. Your body is a mess, Jesus. Currently, 2% of people have chosen that. Five <laughs> people went for your body's a mess. John Mayer sang, your body's a mess. There you go. Your body is a mess. I know it's ye. I know you're tanking it on purpose. We can actually very easily find out who said that. Uh, right. wonder what the answer is. Hmm. It's not miss. What? Your body's, your body's a mess. Answer. Your body's a mess. Name of my sex name. <laughs> um, right. Who's got themselves top spot? Let's have a look. Giovanni staying there. Giovanni yeah. still top. And risky quiz in a second. Eleanor Regan has snuck her way into third place there. She always sneaks it. Eleanor Regan is a regular quiz winner. She's always in the top three. She's got the devil's number there after her 5,666. Very high scores tonight. 66 out of 70. Well done. Right. Um, Colm's just going to do... Do you want to do a check on that question there? Okay, let's see, Colm. So I'm going to do the uh, crowd activity. This will allow me to check who got the questions wrong on purpose. I'll actually be able to see who purposely tanked the answers. And if they oh. did it all, all the time. Do you know what I mean? You, yeah. You, if someone did it purposely throughout the quiz, I will find out. Now, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to let you know I can see those things. So if you're sitting there going, you never know what's <laughs> us. Great quiz, lads. Uh, what did I say about being mid-table? Uh, ninth again. Check the Chinese checkers one, two. I ain't the fact checker. I looked up Chinese checkers. It's marbles. It is. It's traditionally played with marbles. That's if you get it with pegs, it's probably the, the, the... I brought the normal version. version. And I brought the, the travel, travel version. version. <laughs> Um, Laszlo's in well, 21st. Well done. Moira Riley's in ninth. Uh, block them, says Martina. Nah, you yeah. know what? If they paid in, I don't care. Uh, rocking 148 myself, says Moira. Uh, blah, we got blah. one followed by two other numbers, so we got one. There you go. So <laughs> they're in the hundreds is what they're trying to allude to. I sent Pat evidence on Amazon. That's not evidence. Um, boom, 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 boom. You've seen how much abuse I give Colum. I'm back in Colum on this. What? About the marbles. Oh, yeah. Better than Tony Nelson, so I'm happy <laughs> win for once. Right. So, Roll check and Smith. Um, he won our last Sunday quiz, which was, I can't remember anymore. Is it Simpsons? What, what question was it? 60? 67. So what was the what was what was the people were saying? They didn't get the point. They said, but they got the wrong end. All right, wrong end. So A was the correct answer. Uh, flat battery. Anyone who answered that got got points. If it if it showed a different thing on the screen, it was fine. The answer, everything went through as normal. So you, you got the points if you got it right, you got no points if you got it wrong. No, I'm going to right. purposely check to see who got. Shane Weldon, 41st to 21st to 8th to 8th. Not bad, Shane. Well done. Round 70. Uh, just, right, a few things we're going to let people know about. Uh, question 67. You can check that one as well, Colin. Yeah, we're, we've got a couple of fake email addresses there and fake names uh, for, for the correct answer. Um, uh, it was a question before the flat battery. That was the question before, so uh, six, six. So that would have been so multimedia. Multimedia was the correct answer. Anyone who answered multimedia got the points. If you wrote down anything else, 
Uh, memory got no points. Mass got no points. So yeah, it, it, while it might have shown it wrong on the screen, everything went through perfectly well. And I can see everyone who wrote multimedia, if you answered A, you got points. So I even see their quiz on my face got 79, along with path fits good and tight. There you go. Petty fits good and tight. We got 79 points right. in that one. Well done. 79 points. Right. Um, right, for you regular quiz people, we... We often mention Damien Shreen in uh, entertainment. He's a buddy of mine. He does uh or bingo. And, I mean. and uh he has if Liverpool quiz on tomorrow night. If you are a Liverpool fan of sorts, um head in that way. I will stick the link in the post there, uh, just in the chat. If you want to grab a ticket for the Liverpool quiz, he's got some players on it as well. He has uh, I think I think he's got John Aldridge. And maybe Ray Houghton as well popping in to ask a few uh, questions or answer a few questions or something like that. So if you are a Liverpool fan or if you know somebody who's a Liverpool fan, uh, stuck the link in there. But if not, drop me a message with Damien Shreen and Entertainment. He's a buddy of mine. Quiz tomorrow night. If you're a Liverpool fan, I definitely recommend heading out there. I'm going to be doing it myself. So give him a shout. Uh, Sunday ourselves, we have uh, the office quiz. Uh, so tickets are available in the shop still. So head in there. And by the way, we might, he does bingo. We might be doing bingo as well for corporates. So uh, let us know in the coming days. We will know about that. Uh, congrats to Justice for John for winning. John, I'll sort you out for that. I think we have J90's new um, vanilla. We'll we'll play that. We'll say goodbye to everyone then after that, and we'll 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 let people. So if, if you want to head up, head up. So what what we're going to say to you there is that like uh, I I said it at the start, you mightn't have heard it. I know probably some of you have gotten it, but it doesn't take anything to to subscribe or like or link or share the videos or the songs of some of the artists that are, currently would have been bands touring Ireland, and they're trying different ways to make a few bob or to try and get known or different avenues. So Shane Weldon, who's a regular one of our quiz. Uh, attendees uh, this is their band j90 he's the bass player on the left hand side of the screen there you can see him he's nope. handsome out with his silver mane pat's gonna point at him nope that's eddie hey. I just worked out there that they robbed the sign off voodoo a voodoo we're coming for you they're gonna they're gonna sue <laughs> So the song's called Vanilla. It's got a it's got a Coldplay esque kind of sound to it. So we're going to give them a bit of support. And if you wouldn't mind following over to J90's page, sharing it, and the ultimate thing you can do for them is even ask for it on a radio station. It costs nothing to do all of those things. And if you do have the money and you like the song, why not buy it and give them a boost? And thank you for doing the quizzes as well. And hopefully we'll see some of you on Sunday. And if not, we'll see you next Friday night for the Friday night big quiz. Yeah. There we go. I'm going to just play this. Will we leave off? Uh... We leave off the low, the credits, will we? And just uh, as soon as it's finished, just hit the credits and we'll wave goodbye. It's a lot of effort there for me, no come. Ah, go on. I'm only messing. Oh yeah, well, what, they want to know the name of the lockdown. I will tell the quiz afterwards. The the, the Liverpool quiz. I'll send you the link in the comments. There's a place we can go, and if you're ready, we can go there together. Take the lead, I will follow. Shake things up, and we can worry tomorrow. What are you looking for? All that we need is right here. Each moment with you is a souvenir. Because I like you in a way that I watch your friends are for it. You, it was you I was waiting for. It was you I was waiting for. The filter to set you apart. I see you. When I'm not in your arms, it always seems to be so dark. And now that I can see, it's a night and day apart. When you're living without, you don't know any better till you 
Have a good one. You're welcome, Shane. Uh, I think they filmed that as well, all in their own houses, and then they joined it all together. So they're all in different places when they were playing. Oh, I'm very tired. Justice for John. We'll have to delete that. John. Good night, everybody. Thanks for taking part. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.